All right. Let me just check the audio. Make sure everything's going fine. Should be fine. Hopefully. All right. So. We are back. Welcome to the stream. One and all. Back with more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Where we last left off. We finish the prologue. The actual prologue. And now we're moving on to the first chapter. I think the last thing that happened was we tried to escape via the, uh, I forgot what the hell it's called. I think it's called the death route or some shit. I don't remember. But, tried to escape to no avail. That was disheartening. <laughs> totally forgot all about that shit. Now, without further ado, let us get ready to continue. Hope everyone's been having a lovely day. And please do not mind me if I scream in terror tonight out of nowhere because I have something in my eye. <laughs> I've been trying to get it out. Alright. Let us continue with our daily school life. Okay. I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying uncontrollably. Uh. Hmm? Why? At the moment, the intercom in my room rang. Guess I shall check it out. It's a monitor from the pin- oh. Intercom. Where is that? Is that this? Is it- The intercom is someone at the door? I quickly wipe my tears and open the door. Are you okay? Kaede, you alright? Yeah. Oh, Suichi. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not sad if that's what you're wondering. I'm Kaede, it's not your fault. Huh? Huh? I knew it. The underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could work together, then crush our hopes. You might be right. I know that. But I just wanted to escape with everyone. You know? But it's all right now. Everything's over, right? Um. Oh, I forgot. Monokuma died. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? I totally forgot. Monokuma got like super crushed by one of the Exosols because uh, Kaito, that's his name, he went to go attack one of the Mono, not the Mono Cubs. He went to attack Monokuma. They were gonna make a example out of him, and they fucked up. I still have no idea what this does. That's right. I guess you can just react. You might be right, but, but does that does that make people like me more? <laughs> I have no idea what that mechanic does. Anyways, Kaede, I know how you feel. I believe in you. Huh? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep last night. That's okay. I understand that my uh my streams are at fucky times, so they're like, well, for me anyways, they're at like, it starts at 2 in the morning, so. Then they end around 6. So if people fall asleep, I don't blame them. Don't fully understand the mechanic. I wish I did too. Maybe they'll explain it later. Or maybe they're just like, eh, you could just, oh, well, I can't do it now. What? You believe in me? There's something I have to tell you. Oh, thanks for the follow for us, Maggie. Greatly appreciate it. Also, I'm not sure if my alerts were working yesterday. Because I didn't... <laughs> I didn't notice that, uh... Who was it? Was it Sophie that followed me last night? And I don't think my alert popped up. And if it did, I just didn't hear it, I guess. So, I apologize for that. <laughs> There's something I have to tell you. Will you come with me to the library? I completely read that backwards, but okay. The library? It's gone into Suichi all of a sudden. Will you follow me? Into the darkness? Into the basement? Oh god, we're going to the basement. <laughs> Where no one can hear you scream at night? Scream in terror. Meant to do it last night? No, it's fine. I don't expect everybody to follow me. To each their own, right? It's kind of like... It's kind of like how I view, like, subscribing on YouTube. Like, I watch a lot of 
not a lot well not anymore i used to watch a lot of people on youtube but um yeah i used to watch a lot of people but i wouldn't subscribe because it's like once in a blue moon i would watch them but like um but like i never subscribed to someone unless i was like i want to see every fucking video they're putting out right so you know, it's kind of like, it's, this, it's the way I view subs on uh, Twitch. That's how I kind of also view the follows, where it's like, if you really like somebody, then do it, right? Because at the end of the day, having like a pity follower or something like that, that's not going to help nobody in the end. At that point, you might as well just do like sub for sub, right? So, you know. It's a reward. It's a reward you get for doing good. <laughs> All right. Don't mind mean characters, I'm just going to head down to the basement with the shady ass guy that I just met. Hey Rantaro, you got anything to say to me? What's wrong? Hey there you two, something wrong? Um. Only follow streamers you actually want to keep watching. Oh thank you, I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I had um, I had, I remember one time, <sighs> I hate talking like this because I feel like I'm talking shit about somebody, but I remember one time I was like, okay I'm gonna rate this person. And then, you know, they followed me, and then they uh, came back or whatever and watched a couple of streams, talked in the stream or whatever. But I guess they were expecting me to, like, follow back, even though, like, you know, I thought their content was good, but, like, A, for the most part, I barely watch Twitch as it is. So, my follow is going to be pretty much useless. It's going to be a dead follow anyways. And I was like, you're good, but I'm not that into it, right? I didn't tell them that, but... Yeah, within like, within like a week or whatever, they just unfollowed me and never came back. And I was like, eh, I guess so. What can you do about it? People like what they like. You can't stop them. No, nothing's wrong. Hey, hey, Rantaro. You said there's someone behind all this, right? That Monokuma's just a puppet? It's true. I did say that, but you know what? It's just a hunch. How should I, put this? I sure wouldn't complain if that's how it's all turned out, though. The more he talks, the more I feel like he's some sort of prophet. He's just like, he's like, I can see the future. Maybe that's his talent. Maybe he gives like premonitions. Maybe that's why that would explain why he randomly dislikes the occult. Is he a fucking clairvoyant? Hmm. Gotta think about it. Well, away he goes. Hmm. <laughs> Ruth, though, people can't watch every stream. Yeah. They can't follow every person they meet either. Yeah. I'm not gonna like... I mean, it's... I hate talk Again, I hate talking about it because I feel like a jackass. I don't ever want to come off as the person that's like, Ooh, I don't follow people because they're not like me. Right? You know, I'm not... <laughs> try my best not to be that one streamer who is all like, You guys can't pay me five dollars? And I was like, whoa, what happened there? But, um, yeah, it's like, I don't, I'm not going to get mad at a person for doing that, but it's just, at the same time, you can't, like, you got to be reasonable sometimes. You just got to be like, you can't follow everybody. I mean, you can, but at that point, it's just going to be a, a dead number, and it's really not going to help that much. It's kind of like subs on YouTube, where that number doesn't really matter, right? I have a million, <laughs> how many subs do I have on YouTube? I have, like, a thousand something, and, like... 90% of them are dead, so they subbed for like one video and they never watched any of the rest, and I'm like, okay. They want that one content. It'll take me forever to give it to them, but you know, I'll try one day, maybe, if I remember. Like before, the empty library was filled with the scent of old musty books. Uh, um... Okay, before I say something else, I want you to promise me you'll keep this a secret. Kaede, I have a very tiny PP. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. Okay, got it. Suichi looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain an exciting detail. Remember. This library has books scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with the no book on top. Uh. Oh, that one. You're right. Hmm. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. You're right. What is this? I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came in here with you. 
This morning, I came back to investigate that when I found, that's when I found this. Then he walked over to the bookcase, placed his hand between the gap. Oh my god, it's a secret door. And moved the bookcase. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, she, she voiced it for me. I couldn't, all right, cool, nice job. Swing. All right, what are you characters gonna voice? Why don't you just do my job for me? It will it will save my it will save my vocal cords, the strain. I should really get like some tea with me or something so I don't kill myself by the end of this. All right, black and white door. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white, just like Monokuma. Hey, hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's. I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. You can't? What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Kaede? <laughs> She's like, what do you mean you can't? You don't have the key card? Is that all right? But the very fact this door is here makes me consider a certain possibility. There's a chance that one of us is cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? Uh, Wait a minute. What do you mean by that? Hey. It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If, there was sole, if it was solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He could just have the Mono Cubs or Exocells protected and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. Mint tea? <laughs> if you don't mind the taste. I actually don't mind the taste of mint tea. I have peppermint tea in my room right now. I have a bunch of tea in my room right now. I have, you know, I have the basic bitch chamomile and Lipton. I have, uh, I have some, uh, matcha tea over there, right? And I, rem I remember one time I told someone, I said I said I had uh, matcha and green tea, and they're like, that's basically the same thing. Matcha is green tea. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> I didn't say it, but, you know, I didn't want to be that guy who's all like, well, actually, but green tea and matcha are two different things. Let that be known. Matcha is a type of green tea, but it's not green tea. And then I have, uh, what other tea I have in here? It's, um, I can't remember off the top of my head. It comes in like a blue box. Damn it. <laughs> chamomile is really nice, though. It's really soothing. Chamomile is soothing. I actually believe that shit. Like how Earl Grey is a kind of black tea. Exactly, right? You know? Green tea is different, and matcha tea is strong. To me, I think matcha is stronger than green tea, right? Doesn't matcha also, like, stain a little bit? Doesn't it leave, like, green stains? Yeah, it still has its own name. All right, however, I should really brew some tea. I also have apple cider in here too, like the instant apple cider. I barely drink it, but you know, it's nice to have. However, I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Um. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group would be working with Monokuma. That's true. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on the card reader. I sprinkled some of this magic dust. I'm just gonna call it... Where'd you get the dust from? <laughs> just scoop some up from the books? Actually, that's not a bad idea when you think about it. You know, he just has magic dust lying around. Anyways, sprinkle some dust inside the card reader so that I can tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. How you managed to do that, I don't know, but okay. And I don't think the person wiping their card, or wiping? My bad. Swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. Um. So, if we see dust on the floor, that means one of us used it. If dust is noticeably visible on the floor, you must have jam-packed that shit when you think about it, right? Matcha stains like crazy can confirm from working at Starbucks for seven years. Oh god, <laughs> that must have been terrible. Do you- I have to ask, because I feel like- I feel like if I was working at Starbucks, I would roll my eyes every time someone walks in and says, Can I get a venti sized latte? I'm like, you know you can just say large, you son of a bitch. <laughs> nah, I gotta say venti. Grande. Right? Work was nice. Actually, just your boss was terrible. You know what? For me, when I worked at a restaurant, it was the other way around. Where, like, work was terrible, 
but not because the work itself was terrible it was just a lot of hard work the uh, assistant managers were kind of annoying though not gonna lie but my boss was like the greatest boss I ever had to the point where I had to I had to go in one day on my day off to tell him hey man I appreciate everything you're doing for me I came here for a job not a career I don't need you I don't need you to give me all these raises and shifts and stuff and even after I told him that I got like two raises within like one month I started at like 14 and then by the end of like a month I was at fucking 16 and I was like wow it was a lot of hard work it was good pay but god damn it I don't want to work that hard I'm a lazy boy I want a free easy life you know what I mean <laughs> So if you see dust on the floor, it means one of us used the door, right? Well, as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. I have no evidence yet. But, but if it is true, then even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end. Uh, um... Anyways, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I'm... I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Then... Well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. And then as they're walking out the door, he just pulls out the gun. He says, by the way, I'm the culprit. Bang. After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. You're getting raises after you told him that you're not... That you're... <laughs> That you're not after more from him then. That means that he values right? my word. Yeah, that's one thing that I was fucking confused about too because me personally like don't get me wrong i like an easy life but when i go to work i'm there to work right to the point where sometimes i would just like and you know in my day-to-day -day life i'm a pretty quiet guy so i would just uh go to work with my headphones on or earbuds or whatever not say anything to anyone clocking and, and go to work until like break comes and then someone realizes that i actually showed up to work they're like, oh, I thought you weren't here. <laughs> right? But, um... You know, uh, I also... I also, you know, opened my big fat mouth and I just asked. I was like, you really think I deserve a raise? I was like, I'm not sure about that. He's like, no, nah, you're doing fine work. I'm like, you sure about that? I don't think I am. <laughs> but, um... You know. I do remember one time where I did get a little... It is a different job, but, uh, there was a moment where, um, I, uh, what was it? I had a nighttime job, you know, just stacking cans at, like, a grocery store or whatever. And then, uh, one of my friends needed a job, so I helped him out, got him the job there. And he offered that on the nights where, on the nights where we both had the same shift, that he would, you know, pick me up and drive us both there. And I was like, okay, that sounds cool. And every time... I'm the type of guy who will go into work early so that I can leave early, right? So every time I got picked up by that by that one dude, fucking, I would always make it to work like 10 minutes late. And, you know, it's mainly because I'm waiting on him to pick me up, right? And I have to call his phone. I'm like, dude, are you up? <laughs> right? And then uh, I remember one night I wasn't ready when he got there. And then he fucking... He had the audacity. He had the audacity to fucking try and give me an earful and go like, you know, you're working, da da da, you gotta be there on time. And then I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I'm there early every time you're not that you're not the one picking me up. I didn't say it, but you know. But I did say something along the lines of, well, it doesn't matter if you're five minutes late or anything, no one's gonna attack you for it or whatever. It doesn't matter unless you're like constantly 20 minutes late or something to work then that's a problem and then for some reason he thought it was a fun idea to tell that to the boss and then my boss was okay with it but my boss was a jackass too and he decided to play a little prank on me to where he pulled me to the side he's all like uh so uh so and so said that you think it's okay to come late to work and then i went excuse me <laughs> I was so fucking, like, first of all, I was confused, because I'm like, I'm like, A, I'm here early any other time, and B, the only time I'm late is when that jackass is picking me up, right? 
and at that point i just lost it and he's like oh come on man i was just playing around i'm like i'm like playing around and this shit's funny might as well just take a cab let's just say after that day uh i was no longer late to late to work that was also the same job where uh after a week of getting hired the person who hired me asked me uh how's everything going and then i answered with I answered with, everything's fine, it's just that the person who's doing the pay doesn't really know what they're doing because I'm getting my checks late. Like, come on, how hard is it, right? And then I was actually, the person who hired me was the same person who did the payroll, but I didn't know that at the time. And then he just looked at me and he went, okay, nice to know, right? But he said it, like, he was pretty calm about it. And then later on, I, I told my boss what I said to him and he was like, oh, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> He's like, oh, you know he does the payroll, right? And I was like, oh, really? I was like, damn it. Oops, my bad. And after that day, I never got my paycheck late again, though. So, eh. And he never confronted me about it, either. <laughs> At least my boss had some sense of humor. At least, yeah. <laughs> could have gone way worse i mean it could have gone way worse but also at the same time i could have just been like but look at all the times i came early also look at the, all the times that i didn't take my break sometimes i wouldn't take my break so that the next day i can just take every break that i wanted because the union says i have to have my break they don't tell me when i have to have my break but i have to have it within the week so just stockpile that shit <laughs> sometimes you gotta game the system Snide comics work. They do. They really do. Kaede, please don't tell anyone that I showed uh, what I showed you. I don't want that to cause panic. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Kaede, please don't tell anybody that my PP is very small. I have no confidence in myself. I don't know how to use it. Having made our promise, we return to our rooms. <laughs> go, <laughs> go on break for eight hours. Well, I mean, it can't work. It can't work like that. Because, uh, you know, you only get like a 30 minute break, right? Well, I only got a 30 minute break within the night. So that after like, at the time I was in like four days. So two hour break. <laughs> if I shaved them up, right? What the hell are you doing, Monodan? All right, that's not creepy. Just one. The other mono cubs aren't here to bury. Wait, what? To bury Monokuma? It's still not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. You gotta game the system. To the point where sometimes people would go, hey man, you know you gotta take a break, right? And I went, yeah, I know that. And I would just continue working. And I'm like, I gotta take a break, but Union doesn't say when I have to take my break. They just say I gotta take my break. And as long as I follow those rules, I'm all good. It's also when, uh, they had a lot of work left over and uh, someone would go, hey man, you know, you, you really need to stay after and help us with this. And then I would look at them and I say, the union doesn't tell me that. Goodbye. And then I would leave. <laughs> it was, it was a fun job. You know, it was fun to be the smart Alec once in a while. Well, anyways, what Suichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just so hard for us to believe. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> what the hell? Way to scare the holy shit out of me. My dog just snuck up to me and just like jumped on my fucking... on my chair. What are you doing? Why do you always bother me when I start streaming? Go away. I love you. Go, go sit down somewhere. You gotta stop interrupting me. It's just so hard to believe. But Suichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. <laughs> if you like to work the current job, don't mind working late or working extra. I believe that, yeah. It's just that I'm lazy. <laughs> and I was already getting paid enough, right? For working there, and I was like... It was also, I was at a, I was still in high school during the time, so I was like, I got school tomorrow. I'm not staying after. It's already like four in the morning. And then, uh, 
and then whenever I have my days off, I just want to play my video games, you know what I mean? Wow, ready, well, ready out of material, like close, wait, what? <laughs> like closing time in a sushi restaurant. When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. <laughs> Look at fucking how to, how to get away with murder. I watched the first season and then I looked ahead to like the other nine or whatever and I said, nope, not doing this. My memory has been off lately. I wonder if it's cause of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on again? What materials have we shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's cause they've released so many at this point. Oh well, anyways, we need new material for the Monica Theater. Please send your manuscripts along with a thousand dollars application fee. If your entry is selected, you will receive a hundred dollars gift card. What a generous prize! Don't miss this opportunity. Send your application today. A gift card for what? Just a gift card? For anything? For Walmart? Okay, Mono Dam. That bear is a poet. It's already morning? I didn't sleep well last- Wow. Whoa, I just super stuttered. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still in my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they already gathering at the dining hall? Yeah. I guess I'll go for now. Alright. You heard the lady? To the dining hall. Oh, hey, short stuff. How's it going? Ryoma. Totally forgot your name. Uh. Morning, Ryoma. Oh. Huh. We're way past morning by this point. Huh? Really? Didn't the morning announcement just play, though? It's an old story. In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? In, other words. In the day, we do our work and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I live a frighteningly disciplined life. I see. Hmm. I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess. <laughs> healthy body, healthy mind. Not cool. That's a better irony. That's right. Ryoma was famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? I mean, if I was known as the guy who killed someone with a fucking tennis racket and a metal ball, I'd be super hyped about it all the time. <laughs> I wouldn't, like, boast about it, but in the back of my mind, I'd be like, yeah, I killed that guy with a tennis racket. I'm fucking deadly. Kibo! How's it going? Um, Good morning, Kaede. Uh, morning, Kibo. As I thought. Everyone appears to have gathered at the dining hall again. I see. Yep, looks like it. For now. I'm thinking about heading over there as, as well. Uh, heading over there as well. Um, but. I. Oh, nothing. I was just wondering when someone's gonna come and rescue us. It's been almost a full day since Monokuma was dispatched, but our situation hasn't changed. <laughs> In prison changes you apparently. In more ways than one. I'm so I'm just speculating, but what if? Only Monokuma knew about this place. What if this location is not on any map? What if no one's coming to rescue us? Huh? Huh? Which means maybe we'll just be forgotten. And no one will ever find us again. Jeez. Don't say that. Besides, we should be trying to escape, not waiting for someone to rescue us. That's right. Yes, I apologize. I was overthinking things. It would be impossible to discreetly construct a facility such as this in the first place. Plus, if the professor knew I was missing, he would not rest until he found me. With this technology, we will rescue. With this technology, he will rescue us, no matter where on earth this place is. Yeah. Yep. You know, some days I have a good, I have a good flow of reading. Other days, I'm just a fucking mess. You can't. Who knows? It's not going to be good all the time. I want to see if this door is open yet. Because I find it interesting that it is locked. Oh, and it's open now. Okay, what was blocking it before? Despite all my worrying, everyone's in the dining hall was in a good mood. Right? Man, for a moment I had no idea what was going to happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. I slept well last night. 
Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. That's amazing! You did add all that- <laughs> You did- You did all that with magic? <laughs> You're so amazing, Himiko. Thanks, be to Atua. Praise be to Atua. Surely, he helped you in his own mysterious ways. Miraculous ways. I see. This Atua seems to act in secret a lot. Because Atua is watching over us. Because Atua smells of danger. Danger? That don't sound good. <laughs> Are you in a cult? Is she in a cult? I feel like she's in a cult. But when's someone coming to get us? 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. Mm. Why the long face? Oh, no. It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? That is... What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. But is this really how it ends? Without thinking, I had blurted that out loud, and now everyone was staring at me. Um. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it will end like this. Oh. I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have continued? Excuse me? Fucking any enemy stan user? How dare you talk to me like that? That's not true. No, not at all. Fucking bitch! Then don't, don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank. Wow. That means a lot coming from you. I still love you, Mew. But sometimes I gotta put you in your spot. Hmm. Hey, Kaede. I don't know what you're so worried about. But Monokuma's dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know. Angie is, uh, not in a cult. <laughs> no, she's not in a cult. Oh my god, it's a yokai. I never played that game. Never played Yokai Watch. And that's my cue to a pair. Cue. Uh, a pair? A pier. Kuma. What? <laughs> Monokuma. You still alive? It's my turn. No, no. Are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ain't Monokuma Kuma. I'm not Monokuma Kuma. He became a hip hop artist, SoundCloud rapper. After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jabakuma. Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> what is it? Jabba? Did I just say Jabba? Jiba. Jiba Kuma? That's weird. Headmaster. From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Huh? Did I slip up? Jiba Kuma. Jiba. Mm. I see. Thank you. No duh, you fucking fraud. Go find another car to run you over, and this time stay dead. That's terrible. Oh jeez. Such low level cosplay. I can't bear to look at it. She's gonna have a fucking meltdown. From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back Excuse me, you fucking know it all! <laughs> like what? Forget the fact that he's back. He's like, well, actually, yokai and ghosts are two different things. Back then, they were the embodiment of unex uh, unexplain <laughs> unexplainable natural phenomenon. Man, you guys are buzzkills. I was all set for adventure before you started yelling at me. It's right up his wheelhouse. It is. It is right up his wheelhouse. This is why I hate teenagers. I have crushed for a day. Wait, what? I'm all fucked up tonight. That's what's going on with me. I can't read to save my life. I had cash for days if I was dealing with this under 10 crowd. Sometimes I just get stage fright, you know? That's just what happens. Jesus, loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Wait, what? Our father, who was, who was thought dead, is actually alive? No way. Papa Kuma's too hip and modern to resort to death as cheap trope. I bet the yokai did it. Yeah. No, that bit's all. That bit's over already. What are you saying? Totally read that backwards. It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. <laughs> you should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, if Papa Kuma's standing here, then whose body's in the stew pot? Which Papa Kuma's the real one? What are you saying? No, they're both real. Huh? The father? 
You said there's only one of one of each of us that were unique like snowflakes. Oh, well, yeah. There's only one of each of you guys, but I got loads of spares. <laughs> Why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't have any spares. Do you really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death is cheap trope? Huh? What does that mean? Got it. But now we know. This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Excuse me? <laughs> Very affectionate father you are. Get your birthday lips. Father, your love is smothering us. Yeah! Oh, yeah. No more, no more. My well, I see you guys. I just get so excited until I can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute. Gosh, I just want to see what your parents look like. Wait, me. I'm your parents. I'm sorry, I can't react to this. It's too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue? The killing game is going to continue? What a pain. You, sh you sure said it, Himiko. <laughs> it's not the problem, donkey face. Aw, she's not. She's not. She's not ugly. <laughs> what do you mean the killing game is going to continue? <laughs> I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. No, it's definitely not okay. Is that right? So, that's how it's gonna be. If we want this to end, I see. we have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I didn't I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not know. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. And another Is that so? And did you also assume the next exciting development? Okay. What? What can possibly... You know, can we be... Can I be... I want to be completely honest right here. Matakuma came last time and he said, I have a motive. It's the first blood perk. You guys can kill. One person can... Whoever kills first gets the perk and they can leave without a trial. Now... Let, let's be honest here. I understand. We all love Kibo. We love him. But he's not a human. And all you gotta do is just dismantle him. And your conscience will be clean. I'm pretty sure he has an off switch somewhere. Right? So, you technically, you can get away without killing anyone. I mean, he's not, he's not a person. We love you, Kibo. Sacrifices must be made. An additional motive? A time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by night time, two days from now, then every student participating in this killing game will die! <laughs> not a person. That's robophobic. I mean... I mean... Is it really? Let's assume that we're just working off the laws of robotics. And the law says that, you know, robots can't hurt people. So, uh, you just go over there, put him in sleep mode, he'll feel nothing. Take a hammer and just make it quick. I mean, nobody will hate you. That's what Kibo calls anything that implies he's not a person, I know. Oh, I feel bad for you, Kibo, but let's be honest, that's the right thing to do. And then the person who escapes can go get help. You know, assuming that they don't know that whatever the world outside them is. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to talk about the world outside them because I'm not sure if that's a spoiler or not. <laughs> so, you know.
I mean, Monokuma, you said those participating in the killing game. Technically, we're not participating if we don't kill, right? <laughs> Time limit? What? What? Everyone will die? What? Is this? what? That's not fair. Wow. Jeez. Why'd you guys even come to the school if you're not going to do the killing game? Shut up! <laughs> we're the ones that was forced to come here. Um... Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought... I thought we were up... Wait, what? I thought we were up once time ran out. What? Once time ran out. Let's do this! Yeah, I'm right. Let the Exocells do their thing. What? You guys are on a time limit? No, no. But I'd rather not go through... I'd rather not go through that again. I feel bad if you guys tried your... Tried... <laughs> tired yourselves out. Yeah, but... But if we let the exercise get popular, we could have a real cash cow on our hands, you know? The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than sultans. Ah, hmm, sultans, huh? Again. Very tempting, but... I won't let you kids ruin your futures. You need to have your own kids ruin their futures. Daddy. Dad, you love us so much. Oh, That's enough. Oh. oh, you're still here? Of course, we never left. Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? Hmm? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye-bye to the suffering. You, you bastard. To tell you the truth. Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? <laughs> you're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well, Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill's free. How gory! But the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And if they don't play, then they're dead anyways. And that's way more gory at gory at What? Hmm. I see. If it's... If it's gratitude... Read. Words. On screen. I can do this. <laughs> I see. It was gratuitous, over-the-top gore. Is that- that's the word right, gratuitous? Over-the-top gore? I might be able to stomach that. <laughs> Forget the killing game, then. It'd be better for you all to just die together. Shut up! Shut up and get the fuck back. <laughs> well, what you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. Man, father's in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Monodam, go get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. That's freaky. So long, farewell! Farewell, guys. Now that Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. What are we gonna do? Nighttime in two days? We'll be... Uh, he'll be here in an instant. Really? There's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. Oh, Mew, please don't die. <laughs> please don't die. I'll be so mad. The world needs my genius. I need you, Mew. I don't like that. I don't wanna... I don't wanna die yet. Die? Everyone's gonna die? Is dying the only choice? Cause Atua says so. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome... Get out, Angie. Get out. I don't need you here. That's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Well then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. There's Maki. With the the meanest truth there is. I love you, Maki. Me and Maki. I want them both to survive. If they don't, I will be upset. No can forgive. We gotta fight back then. Um. Yeah. If we strike them in some sneak attack, if we strike them with some sneak attacks. We might have a chance at winning. No. What kind of Aikido moves are even even involve sneak attacks? Don't wanna help everyone. Come, everyone. 
Going to use body. Keep everyone safe. Not cool. You going to go against those machines barehanded? Isn't that too reckless? But we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. But wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate a possible option. How terrifying. We've no time to be indecisive. We're being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or die from the time limit. Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't want to die yet. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make it no matter what. Uh, no matter what? That's wrong. Wait. You can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Oh. Then you'll accept the blame. What? Watch where you're pointing that finger, Kokichi. You're gonna fucking regret it. I'll personally make sure of that. Huh? Because. Will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who'd be sad if I die, you know. I don't believe that. <laughs> Not one bit. I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. Now I believe you. But I don't know. If the same can be said for everyone else, though. So that means... Anyways, I'm gonna take off for now. Oh. Take off? Where are you going, Kokichi? Um... Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? You invite me to come kill you? Oh. You? I, I... Not that I try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. I believe you, Mew. You can do whatever you want. <gasps> Talking to you idiots is exhausting. I'm going to my room and rest. What do you want? Come over here. Got it? Why are you whining? Come here. What do you want? Why are you whining? My dog is whining. I don't know why she's whining. Are you okay? Do you just want attention? Because I give you attention pretty much all day, every day. She might have to go outside. Um, Alright. You know what? Give me a second, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to go take my dogs outside. Because she is, she is really, really bothering me. <laughs> so, I'll be right back. Give me about, like, three minutes, I would say.
All right, I have returned. My dogs are a pain in the ass when they gotta go outside. They'll like, they'll head to like three different spots just to take a piss. It's like, come on guys, what are you doing? It's like, no, this spot isn't grassy enough. This one has too much dirt on it. Like, stop being picky. Go use the bathroom. Anyways. Mew, you better not do anything shady, okay? Oh man, shady is her middle name. You better not do any shady. First time you met her, she was like, I'm looking for fucking med so I can start tripping. I'm worried. There's no need to worry, is there? No one's gonna kill anyone, right? Hmm. If someone's gonna kill, they should just go for the robot. See, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go up top. High five. No way. That's even worse. Hmm. hmm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. Of course I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules people decide upon. This is a space removed from the rules, therefore, you've no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense. I mean... There's... There are merits to his words, cause... Think about it. When you're a kid, chances are you're probably killing some bugs left and right, squishing ants or something. Right? Fucking, we kill animals for livestock. Hell, we kill animals just to put clothing on our backs. Meanwhile, we can probably make something uh, out of, uh, you know, like synthetic shit. So, can we really say killing is 100% wrong? I mean, it's only, it's like a double standard, right? You know, just thinking about it logically. Of course, we all know killing is bad feels bad to kill. Or at least that's what they say. However, Even if it is to survive, we are as guinea pigs upon a lab... <laughs> we are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So, you have nothing to fear from me. Yo. Mm -hmm. Males males in the soft science are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong though. If we want to stay alive, stand around grumbling, grumbling. Stand around grumbling's not gonna change anything. Well. As things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? Says the known killer. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided our plan yet. All right already. You can decide that on your own. Huh? Huh? You don't know? Your half-ass speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then. So just come up with the plan for yourself. Both my wife who's walked out on me. I'm sad now. Wait, Maki. Well then. I'm just gonna pray to Atu. Yeah, you do that. You better not survive the ending of this. I will be so surprised. Yeah. Can I can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. You have special art commissions? I mean, would you like to go into detail about that? <laughs> or that special pillowcase I bought? <laughs> what should I do? If I ever buy a pillowcase, it'll probably be for a joke. And it'll probably be of like a husband. <laughs> but wait, you guys. That's wrong. You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. Yeah. Everyone, what's wrong? Why well, everyone's scattered? <laughs> Fine then. All of you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... That's a shame. Can I even trust myself? Huh? Rentaro? What's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong, he says. How should I put this? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? 
ultimate hunt. Um, what is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rentaro? Oh, no. It's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused as all. Well. You can't drop shit like that and go like, eh, nothing, guys. Actually. Everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. I'm sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make any sense from time to time. Mataro. Uh. Without looking back, Mataro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone. So why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and planned this entire killing game. It's all their fault. Oh. We're still here, huh? So, uh... Hi, Suichi. Um. Hey, Suichi. What should we do right now? I'm... We need to move. Huh? Move? Suichi slowly approached me, as if wary of his surroundings, and said in a hushed voice, Well, that's... This morning before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the car reader on the floor. Huh? Do you mean in the library? Uh, okay. Yes. So when he said we needed to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Shuichi? Suichi, can I help you in any way? Uh, okay. Of course, Kaede. But we should go. We shouldn't be talk shouldn't be talking in the open like this. What's the matter? What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? Uh. We're not whispering. We're just gonna check on something. Hmm. And that thing you wanna check on in secret is um. Sorry. Uh, all I can say is Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys I'll show you guys that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I believe in you. I see. Well, that's how it is. Then I'll believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyways. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. However, the optimist. Alright. Time to skedaddle onto the basement. Let's go, Suichi. Hey. Are we heading to the library? I suppose. So. Yes. I'll tell you everything there. Sounds like a plan. How much coins do I have? I wonder. Let's see. Uh, I have six coins. Do they have the pet thing? The rules. Our presents. Truth bullets, I guess. Huh, they got rid of the pet option. I guess because nobody really cared about it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't care about it. I assuredly wasn't going to pay attention to it. Half the time, that thing died anyways. Fucking, the pet in, like, the second game ended up living in its own shit. And I was like, wow, that's sad. I've forgotten about it so much. It's like a Tamagotchi. I mean, it's exactly like a Tamagotchi. You just, you just look at it one day, you go, oh, it's cute, and then you forget about it. And it dies. Alright, I'll explain everything. First, take a look at the card reader. As Suichi said that, he moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. I peeked into the gap of the card reader. The dust is gone. I'm... That's right. I checked right after nighttime started yesterday, and the dust was there. But this morning, it was gone. So that means someone entered this door during nighttime. Could it be? That got me thinking. This might sound far-fetched, but perhaps Monokuma's revival is related to this door somehow. Huh? How so? If I remember correctly. Remember what Monoc Remember what the Monocup said? This school has a machine somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine, and you can have as many spare pops as you want. Hmm. hmm. So there's a machine that can build spare Monokumas. Because that would explain why we saw Monok Monokuma alive and well this morning. 
At night time, someone went through this door and activated the machine. And then, that's where Monokuma... Wow. Ah, can't read. And then there's... There's what Monokuma just told us. The time limit is now in effect. If a murder does not occur by night time two days from now, then every student forced to participate in the killing game will die. I knew it. The way he phrased it seemed, pecu seemed peculiar. Uh, peculiar? Fuck! What's wrong with me tonight? Why not just say everyone will die? He went out of his way to, specif uh, to specify the students forced to participate will die. Um. Huh? But why? That's true. My deduction is that one of us volunteered to participate and wasn't forced. That would mean that they would have avoided execution without breaking any rules. Perhaps that's why Monokuma said it that way. Huh? And that person is one. <clears throat> that person is one in our group. Is the one in our group who's cooperating with Monokuma? That's. I don't know if Monokuma is that strict with the rules, but if he's trying to protect someone. That would imply that they're doing more than just cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? What? Because... I believe that one of us can create spare Monokumas. They are the mastermind of this killing game. Um... So the person who's responsible for all our suffering is one of us? Uh, okay. Of course, this is just what I've deduced, but it is entirely possible. That's why I didn't want to talk about this in front of everyone. If we told them now... They might all they might all try to find the master eh, the mastermind and be led to murder. I'm... That's why I could only tell you, Kaede. The mastermind. The one controlling Monokuma. I can't believe the person responsible for our suffering could be among us. Among us? Among us? Did you say among us? Man, that's pretty sus. It's hard to accept, but it is true. I can't forgive them. So, what do you plan to do now, Suichi? We're gonna find the Mastermind, right? I'm... I'm thinking of taking the risk just before time expires. I believe the Mastermind will come here just before time is up, and I can expose them. Huh? Wait, how do you know they'll come here right before time's up? That's... I'm, I'm extrapolating from something Monokuma told us earlier. I cannot read. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I was doing fine yesterday, too. That's the sad part about this. Mauled to shreds by countless Monokumas from the rumored Monokuma making machine. Hmm. To reduce the large numbers of Monokumas, the Mastermind would have to come here. They would have to get into the hidden room to activate the machine. Well. Of course, none of this is certain. There's a chance the Mastermind won't show. Like I said, it's a risk. But, but I'm willing to take it. It's better than just sitting around waiting to die. I see. Yeah. Oh, right. I'll take that risk with you. But... But, Kaede, this is just my deduction. It's possible that I'm wrong. Of course. Yeah, I know. But I made up my mind. You told me about this, so that just means you trust me, right, Suichi? You trust me, right, Suichi? Right, Suichi? Yeah. Then I'll trust you, too. Aww. A little embarrassed, Suiji. What the hell is going on out there? I'll be right back. I apologize for the interruption. Someone is knocking at my front door.
Oh, wow. That was weird. All right. We are back. I apologize for the wait. I had unexpected company. Real unexpected company. From, like, states away. Did not expect them to knock on my door at... What is it, 3 o'clock in the morning now? <laughs> Jesus. All right. Where the hell were we? Something about Monokuma Machine? You know? I mean, I don't have any good ideas of my own, so obviously, I'll help, I'll help you out with yours. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Let's expose the mastermind together, Suichi. Thank you. Thanks, Kaede. You have always... You always have a way to encourage me. Mm. Never expected this to happen, though. I can't believe our enemy is within our group, hiding in plain sight. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now that we know this, I should stop saying everyone needs to work together. All right. But whoever the mastermind is, we'll expose them and help everyone else escape. And when this is all behind us, we're gonna stay good friends. And that's a promise, okay? Uh, okay. Right. After we reapplied the dust to the car reader, I left Suichi and returned to my room. Two days from now, at the stroke of nighttime, that's when the time limit expires. Until then, I guess I'll check on the others. I'm a little worried about them. Free time! While at the academy, you have free time every now and again. I completely tucked the words then and again and mixed them together and had a stutter. That's amazing. Thanks a lot, brain of mine. During free time, you can spend time with other students to strengthen your bonds. You can also give them a present to strengthen their bonds even further. You can buy presents at the school store. You can use the model machine. If your bond gets strong enough, an intimate event might occur. Nice. But you don't have free time forever. Spending time with someone passes time. You can also end free time by going straight to bed. By yourself, that is. By yourself. <laughs> none of that, none of that touchy-feely shit. I mean, I wouldn't skip it, but if you'd rather be alone, that's cool too, fucking loser. Alright. We have people to hang out with, guys. Who should we hang out with? Out of this wonderful cast of characters. Who should we get to know before their untimely demise? Now, if this is like Dingarapa 1 and 2, chances are you get, you get two times? And then they get to the the murder and the trial and all that stuff. Hmm. I would like... You know what? Before we hang out with anyone, let's head to the school store. I don't know where the hell the school store is at. <laughs> Basement. School store. There we go. Entrance hall. Alright, which way? It's this one, right? No, that's warehouse. This is the store. Now we have six coins. Don't know how the f how much we can buy with that, but you know. Oh, look at the giraffes. Isn't that adorable? Oh, this is not the machine I need. What if I start smacking shit? Oh, here's the machine. Okay. Guess it works. Just like the last games, the more coins you put in, the more rare it is. We got a hammock! That's cool, who doesn't like a hammock? They're comfy, I like them. Three hit KO sandbag. Okay, I think that'll be good for Tenko, right? She can practice her Aikido there. Fashionable glasses! For who? Who likes fashion? Hmm. So one student ID <laughs> is that Makoto? <laughs> okay, I see that. Autumn colored scarf. Very specific. 
home planet. What? <laughs> I must go now. My planet needs me. Okay, well that's interesting. Can I look at the description of these things? A cheek autumn colored scarf that can be used by men, women, and robots. It's very trendy and fashionable. Packs into any outfit. A fashionable accessory that appears to be a pair of glasses, but does not actually correct its wearer's vision. Okay. Regardless of whether it's hit hit by a kick from, from, a, from a sickly child or punch from a superman adult. Superman? Superhuman adult. This punch and bag will always break on the third hit. That kind of sucks. <laughs> that sucks for a punch and bag. A mini planetarium machine that can project the cosmos onto your bedroom walls when it's time for bed. Comes with... Oh, so... Kaito would definitely love that. Because he's an astronaut and all... Well, I guess technically he is an astronaut, even though he's never been in the space. Bedding created by hanging a net between two poles or trees. Lodging, lodging in one of these... Something everyone has dreamed of at least once. Hammocks are nice. It's just... I don't know. How do you describe a hammock? Right? How do you describe a feel of a hammock? A replica of a student ID from some academy. There's many different designs of IDs as there are talented students. Okay. And that's it, I believe, right? Oh. And then we have this. Prove you clear the prologue. It's a badge of the Ultimate Academy insignia. Apparently, there's only 16 of these in the world. It's a collector's item. Don't lose it. Okay. Yes, I would love to leave. So, who the hell we're hanging out with? That's the question. We have Suiji. Who do... I always feel... You know what this is? This is a game of who do you think is going to die first? <laughs> right? So, I want to hang out with Maki. I want to hang out with Maki and Mew because they're my waifus, but you know. Um, let's hang out with one of the guys first. How about that? We'll hang out with, you know, we'll hang out with supposedly fan favorite Kokichi. I don't know why. I don't know why would I hang out with Kokichi. He doesn't even like Kaede. <laughs> I don't feel like he likes Kaede. Where the fuck is Gogichi? Is he in his room? Is he even accessible? Um... Let's see... He's not over there. Oh, he's out here. He's near the dorms. Alright. Uh... This way, right? He's in the dorm, right? Probably in his room. Just see if he's like just hanging out. If he's in his room, maybe he might not even answer us. Oh, there he is. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, you little bastard. I'm gonna live. Let's go, Kishi. Okay. Is it gonna be okay? Maybe I should stay by his side. Ah, might as well. I don't like you, Kokichi, but apparently people like you, so... That's so mean. What? Are you here to offer your lives as a tribute to me, Kaede? <laughs> don't worry. It'd be boring to kill you now, so I won't do anything of the sort. Alright, jackass. I spent some time trying to prevent Kokichi from doing anything stupid. Kokichi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give him a present? I don't think. Hmm. I don't think he would like any of the things I'm gonna give him. He wouldn't care for a punching bag. I don't think he would care for a hammock either, to be honest. He seems to like scarves though, he's wearing one. But would he like an autumn colored scarf? He has the whole black and white thing going on for him. And his skin is like super pale, so it wouldn't really match. <laughs> I guess I'll give him a scarf. There you go. Mm. 
I guess this isn't that boring. Yeah, pretty good taste, Kaede. Well, not as good as mine. I'll surprise you with a gift one of these days, Kaede. Is it a knife to my back? <laughs> it's pretty strange that you would come talk to me, Kaede. Um. Whatever, I just felt like it. If you don't want to spend time with me, just say so. What? Why would I do that? I never turn down an invitation from you, Kaede. You mad? Kidding. That was a lie. Yeah. Jeez. I'm already exhausted. Maybe I shouldn't have reached out to Kokichi. Yep. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, eh, don't take that tone with me. After all, it's your fault I'm mean to you. Huh? My fault. Because you've forgotten about me. Huh? Forgotten? I can't bear it anymore. I haven't forgotten. I've been thinking about you this whole time. He's lying. Hmm. Do I call him out on his lie? Should I go with it? Um. W wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't remember ever meeting you. That's so, mean. so you did forget. You completely, completely wiped me out of your memories. How could you be so heartless? I'm so devastated. Is Kokichi genuinely sad? Have I really forgotten about him? Sorry. I'm sorry. Can you help jog my memory so I can remember you? You know? Like, where we met or what was going on when we met. You know, stuff like that. Hmm, hmm let's see. We met yeah. under hostile circumstances similar to this. Huh? Um. You sheltered me while I was on the run from my enemies. With your piano skills, you managed to raise enough money to fund my escape. But then I betrayed you. I sold you out to my enemy, and you were swiftly killed. I don't like where this story is going. There's no freaking way any of that's true. Jeez. That was all a lie. It's a lie. Yep, sure was. We met each other here. I can't believe you fell for that, Kaede. You're such a sucker. Yeah. Jeez. Yep, this is the sort of prank a kid would want attention. A kid who wants attention would pull. Well, no. you keep this up, and you just might be the first one to get killed, you know? Stop it. Hey, Kokichi. Some things are best left unsaid. You know what I mean. Oh? Oh, you mad? Sorry. And I won't say anything at all. Kokichi's amazing. Kokichi is gonna die. <laughs> Keeps fucking with me like this. And we became friends. His report card has been updated. Ooh, interesting. After parting ways with Kokichi, I returned to my room feeling very annoyed. I know the feeling, Kaede. <laughs> How rude. A little lie isn't worth killing him. I didn't say I was going to kill him. I just said he was going to pay. I really hope that I didn't say I was going to kill him because, I'll be honest, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> I still had some time before the, before it's nighttime. What should I do? I'm going to just sit around and do nothing. Oh, so do we get two free night times per day? Was that in the other games? Okay, well, if that's the case... If that's the case, maybe I can get some coins by just running around and smacking shit, right? I sure as fuck don't want to hang out with you, Kyo. You gotta, you got some proving to do, buddy. That's a shady dude. Alright. Let me see if I can head into a classroom and, like, smack some shit around. Maybe we can get some more coins. And then we can buy more presents. And then people will love me. I'll be everybody's best friend. Start smacking shit. Yeah, there you go. You can only smack the chairs. Oh, I can smack the dust too. Okay. I didn't get a lot of coins this way. Holy shit. You know what I'm gonna do? After the stream, I'm just gonna put on some music and I'm gonna run around and start smacking shit. Build up some coins. So that we won't have to do this during the stream. Hit the fucking desk. There you go. 
So quick question, right? You can refill these rooms. Will you still get coins from smacking shit? Oh no, you can't smack it no more. Oh, okay. I guess it will reset when you go to bed. Running around smacking things is a good way to get mana coins. Class trials give you more though. Yeah, they do. That is true. You get what, like 200 for each one that you do? I mean, I mean, I'm just saying like when the stream's over, I can't, I can't sit here and play the game. You know, I can't play the game. That would ruin the other streams. So on my own, I, I'm going to have to, if we, if we stop at a point where I can run around, I'm going to have to run around and fucking start smacking shit. Let's just head to one more classroom. You can only get it once per chapter. Okay. Oh, he's fucking here? Get the hell out of here, Kokichi. I didn't mean to run into your dumbass. I hate you. Little bastard. Look at him. You can't tell me that he doesn't look like a man who doesn't own slaves. Fucking anime Colonel Sanders out here. Speaking about anime Colonel Sanders, totally, totally just remembered that there's like a dating sim with Colonel Sanders, right? There's like a KFC dating sim. <laughs> one of these days, one of these days, I will be playing that. That and you know, I don't, I don't want to say it, but I will I'll probably play Doki Doki Literature Club at some point too. Not anytime soon though. There's a desk behind him that I want to hit. Well, not a desk, a bunch of chairs. Hit the fucking chairs! Oh, God. Well, hit this chair, at least. Make me feel good about myself. There was, and it was hilariously bad. <laughs> was it like... By bad, do you mean like Honey Pop bad? Where, like, it's fucking pretty basic, but it's also good because it's just stupid? Or do you mean bad as in, like, it's just fucking terrible, don't waste your time? <laughs> no, Honey Pop shouldn't be the one that I use for that. I should say, like, Hotful Boyfriend. Because Hotful Boyfriend's pretty fucking bad. <laughs> There's a KFC rom-com starring... <laughs> starring Mario Lopez? What? <laughs> when the fuck did that happen? Oh shit, I got 56 coins? Hell yeah, I'm fucking rolling in the dough. Let's go. Alright, so who the hell we're hanging out with next time? I vote that we hang out with Maki. Maki's my friend. I like Maki. So bad that it loops around and becomes hilarious. It's worth a playthrough. Okay, if you don't mind dating sims. Dude, you know who you're talking to? I came from the lands of the Persona 4 Waifu Wars. Ain't nothing but fucking dating sims going on in there. And years of just fights of your waifu's garbage. And everyone's like, but what about Naoto? What about Naoto? She's barely there. She shows up at the end of the game. Strike next time. Work chair of doom? Lucky chance, baby. Astro cake. Ooh. Recipe for Seduction, starring Mario Lopez and Colonel Sanders. Oh my fucking god, that sounds wonderful. That's such a good name. Helping Yachi? Fucking don't remind me of, like, dolphins and porpoises right now. Fucking Guilty Gear is just... Ugh. If anyone's played Guilty Gear Strive, you would just get... Oh god, two lucky chances? Nice. Fucking no. You would just be losing your shit every time you saw Mai, her and her fucking dolphin, and like just never-ending attacks as she yells "Togedeki" over and over and over again, and you just want to fucking die. <laughs> Stop it with the fucking dolphin! I hate that shit. At that point, you're not even fighting Mai in the damn game; you're fighting her fucking dolphin. And she's the assist character. Pocket tissues. Alright. We're getting a lot 
more repeats. We're gonna do ten more. And we're gonna walk out of here. Those can't do this all night. And trust me, I have the patience to do this all night. I got a platinum trophy in fucking Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Dest uh, Dream Drop Distance. So, oh my god, it's fucking Makoto. <laughs> so trust me, I have patience. To get a platinum in that game, you gotta take care of those dumbass dream eaters. And it was the worst thing I ever did in my life. Complete waste of time. Cufflings. Plastic moon buggy model. Weathercock. Alright, one more. Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail. Oh, very... Okay. Aluminum water bottle. Alright. Let's take a look at these report cards, though. Because, oh my fucking god! <laughs> Whoa! Way to just scare the living shit out of me. Also, the person I was looking for. Hi. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? You getting presents in there? Alright, so Kokishi's uh, report card updated, right? So what, what happened? He lies and misbehaves because he says we might... Wait, what? <laughs> he lies and misbehaves because he says we met before. I didn't remember him. I wrecked my brain, but I don't remember him at all. He could just be lying. Okay. Well, hello, Maki. How are you today? You wonderful, wonderful creature, you. Jeez. Just like we were just given our ultimate talons on a whim. And now we're in this lousy situation because an ultimate sucks. I'll spend time with Maki. Hi, Maki. I don't know why I'm complaining to you. You're stuck here, too. And if there's time to complain, I'd rather spend it being productive. I spent some time searching around this school for clues with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Absolutely. Alright, so what would Maki like? Hmm. Let's see. A British candy that makes that makes that's made by boiling down sugar. Wait, what is this? Maple fudge. Hmm. Would she like sweets? Pretty popular hat that lets you feel trendy and somewhat artistic. Stories about customs, legends, and okay, well we know Kyo it like that. Without a doubt. A broom that lets me just fly. Okay, well that's for Himiko. Basic sewing kit. Always be prepared if a button comes off. I feel like Maki would like that, right? You know, because she takes care of the kids and then maybe a button will fall off so she would have a portable sewing kit with her. Commemorative metal set. Uh, what's this? Tattered music score. This would pro this is definitely for Kaede. Because, you know, fucking uh I assume I assume this game would have a um a whatchamacallit. Like the other games, the uh vacation modes or whatever. So you probably hand this to Kaede. I mean, I don't think anyone else would give a fuck about a tattered music score. Uh art mannequin. It does have a bonus mode. Okay. That's nice, because I love the bonus mode in the other games. I can live out my I can live out my my fucking waifu fantasies there. And then you find out that uh what's her name from Danganronpa 1? Oh uh, fucking Celeste. You find out that she's just a goddamn freak. <laughs> she's just like, yeah, I just want I just want men all around me, left and right. It's kind of required to see all the scenes. Yeah, it is. That too. Unless they were sadistic and they're like, nope, we play the game. Hmm, Samazen doll. Ernest Compass. Upbeat humidifier. 
great for gloomy people, but to cheerful people, it's just a paperweight. Would Maki like this? Is Maki gloomy? <laughs> I love Celeste and her gothic hat. I love Celeste too. Honestly, I can't put it against her. Now I'm not saying that I'm not saying that I would want a fucking I would want a castle filled with maids doing my every whim because honestly that's just too much for me. But you know, I can't say that she's wrong either. Let's see. Get rid of any mess in the kitchen sink or even dirt from a faucet. Also be used to clean robots. Marigold seeds. Okay, and that's it. Uh, what was she like? I think... Oh, wait, we got the sweaters, too. Those who wear it can feel themselves in love with power, with love, and will stay warm even through the coldest winters. She doesn't like cold stuff, right? So, she would like this, right? That's it then on her report card? Is it winter she doesn't like? I wish I can check their report card while I'm giving them gifts, but I can't. I think... It's winter she doesn't like, right? Am I right about that? Please help me here. <laughs> I don't want to give her a bad gift. She's my waifu. I can't disappoint her. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe you'll like it, Maki. Here you go. You like... Here you go. Wait. She... Okay, her dislikes and like, I remember it says like Lakeshore and Winter Shore, and I don't know which one she like. I, you know what? Fuck it. Here's the sweater. Take the damn sweater. What is it? What is this? Where'd you even get this thing? It's for me? Why would you even think about giving this to me? She hates me. It's official. I disappointed her. Damn it. I just want to be loved. That's her dislike quote. Which one was it? Was it the she dislike? Does she dislike lake shores or does she dislike winter shores? She loves the home planet projector though. Why? Cause she's a fucking alien. <laughs> she's like, I must go now. My planet needs me. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. As you can see, Mono Kid has had a little too much honey. He was really, really happy about Daddy's return. Now let's play darts, Mono Dam. Mono Dam can be the dartboard. And let's go bowling. Mono Dam can be the ball. Yeah, but by the way, which announcement were we making? A nighttime announcement. Hmm? What? It's already that late? Then we should go to bed soon. It's already nighttime. At this rate, the time limit will expire before we know it. But I won't lose. I won't give up. Because I want to see everyone smiles just a little longer. I want to spend time with them, laugh, and talk like normal teenagers. So, I won't give up. The Monokuma Theater. I do not know what this is a reference to. I'll teach you guys how to win over a lady. First, you gotta give her a present. Ladies can't resist presents. You know, unless it's a sweater and they hate you afterwards. But you can't give her any present. It's got to be a present suited for her taste. I know that. I know that now. He's holding a card of Celeste, by the way. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, her likes her tea, sweets, and... See, I thought she would like the fucking, the fucking brownies or whatever the hell they were. And jewelry. She also likes some things related to martial arts. Wh what? <laughs> and lighting and lighting it on fire? What do you mean lighting it on fire? Oh, oh, he's lighting the card on fire. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's just sad. Oh man. You gotta point that out for. It's gotta be a handmade present too. So it looks like you put thought into it. For example, the kind of lady who's into strong men would love a handmade pro wrestling group. What? She'll love being surrounded by macho dudes, and you'll make money off the wrestlers, too. If, if enough wrestlers get popular, then it might be good to host a big event. And after they're done beating each other up, 
They can fight other pro wrestling groups too. Just give it a shot, and I'm positive you'll win her heart. I think that's called a gangbang. <laughs> This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Let's have a wonderful killing school semester today. Oh. Jeez, Monica really drank too much honey. How long he's gonna be sleeping? Ah. Oh, by the way, father's time limit expires at 10 p.m. tomorrow night. So long. The time limit ends tomorrow, right? Sweetie's gambling on that, which means we have to watch the library while time is running out. Shouldn't we start preparing then? I'm getting worried. Uh. Dawn of the second day. <laughs> Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. <laughs> See, you know, you know what? I, uh, I originally wanted to stream Zelda, uh, like after we were done with Phoenix Wright, but, you know, at the time, I was crossing my fingers going, who knows, maybe they'll announce something at E3, and then they fucking crush my hopes and dreams, right? So, I got a little sad, and I was like, I don't, don't want to play Zelda right now. I was going to play Ocarina of Time, even though Ocarina of Time is not my favorite. I thought it would be a nice starting point. Oh, Soichi, perfect timing. <laughs> That's fair. It is fair. Because they're like, hey, want to buy this game and watch? And I'm like, no, just port the fuck. Just, you don't have you don't have to do the Mario 30th anniversary fucking collection, even though you should have. Just port the games over to the damn Switch. Just bring Wind Waker and Twilight Princess over. That's it. That's all I can ask. You're doing it with Skyward Sword, which, to each their own, but Skyward Sword is not that good of a game. And then, like... You know, just fucking do something. <laughs> Ocarina of Time casual or 100%? 100% of course. I do want to do a randomizer, but I think for for like the first playthrough on the channel, it should just be like 100% run. You know, because it's Zelda, right? And then if I ever revisit it, I would do a randomizer. Because, because uh, may maybe someday in the future somebody might use my playthrough as a guide or something, and they'll be like, I remember when he did this shit. Maybe I should do it again, even though there's like a million Zelda guides. It's still still nice to be prepared, right? Switchy, I wanted to ask something as soon as I answered the door. Too bad, it's me. It hurts my heart to be screamed at by a young girl. But it hurts so good all at the same. Oh, uh, how much do I think I'll be reliant on the guide? Um, I last time I played Ocarina of Time, I played well. I planned on streaming the 3DS version through through me through certain means that I will not say out loud because I can't buy a 3DS capture card because Nintendo's a bunch of assholes and they won't let people make them anymore. But, um, last time I played Ocarina of Time, I was playing it as, like, a practice run-through without a guide, and I I beat the game, of course, and I think I, I want to say I grabbed most of the, most of the heart pieces, and I at least got 50 Sculptulas. I'm not sure if I want to do 100 Sculptulas, because the reward for it sucks, but, but, I most of it I was able to do without a guide so I'll probably do it without a guide and if I feel like I can't remember anything I would probably pull out a guide just to clean it up towards the end yeah Nintendo can be a terrible company sometimes <laughs> Nintendo we love you but you're kind of a pain in the ass also why the hell is Metroid Dread $60 I get it I love Metroid but at the same time you look at games like Cuphead and fucking what was the other indie darling games that came out? Fucking sh uh, Shovel Knight and goddamn. And fucking, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, shit. Hollow Knight. Right? You look at those things and it's like, those weren't 60 bucks. What the hell is wrong with you? Right? So, I don't know. It is weird. Nintendo does some stupid shit here and there. 
Also, I forgot which game came out recently that wasn't that much money either. There was like a game that came out that was like 40 bucks and it had like a bunch of shit in it. Can't remember off the top of my head. But anyways, what do you want? Ah, I figured I'd come by to let you know that some of the research labs are open. Huh? You mean the ultimate research labs? Those classroom tailored to, a 16 ta to our 16 talents? Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh, your lab is finally all set up, so you can go in whenever you want. Now go to the ultimate pianist lab right away and compose a murderous melody. Stop it. Murderous melody? What are you even talking about? And thing. So, are you gonna invite me inside for tea or? <laughs> He's like, so are we gonna are we gonna do this or what? Oh, of course not. <laughs> See, it's only two hundred rupees for repeatable. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm trying to think if like if the if I'm gonna do 100 sculptulas because, you know, 50 is the heart piece and then 100 is just like 200. But by the time you get all 100, you really don't need rupees, so it's worthless. <laughs> Slammed the door in Monokuma's face with all my might. Aww. Jeez, that was super annoying. Jeez. God, how annoying. Enough already, you're bothering me. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Should, should I come back later? Uh. Oh, Suichi. Sorry, just ignore what I said. Um. I wanted to talk to you too, Suichi. I was wondering if we needed anything for the plan. Uh, um. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I might know how to keep... I know how to... Eh. I might not know... Eh, I can't read. I might know how to keep watch on the library. Huh? Weren't you planning on hiding inside the library and keeping watch from there? Hmm. If we did that, we risk the mastermind running into us. It's safer to watch from further away. Is it safer? Because, I mean, if you're standing in front of the door, you're like, you're not getting past me. You know what? It is safer, because I forgot the XSLs are still here. Never mind. Fuck it. Hmm. We also need hard evidence to convince everyone that the ma of the mastermind's identity. You know, besides, like, killing him on the spot? Or her? <laughs> like... Besides just going, like, bam, got you. Everybody, see? We did it. Monokuma's not working no more. So that's why I thought it might be a good idea to set up cameras. Um. Cameras? I mean, Monokuma is autonomous, but still. I found some cameras and security sensors in the warehouse. With some modifications, we can combine the two have a camera that will detect movement and take pictures. If we set up a few in the library, we can capture proof of the mastermind. And we don't have to be in the library for, a, for it to work. So, we're less likely to get caught. I see. And that's a really good idea. But do you know how to modify a camera? That's... Well, I don't know. That's why I wanted to ask Mew, the ultimate inventor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. But what if she's the mastermind? But... But she's pretty intimidating, so I'm having- She's intimidating? Soichi. Soichi, all you gotta- All you gotta do is just turn your head and go, Bitch! And then she'll crumble like a deck of cards. I mean, I would never call her a bitch, though. Because I love her. So, I'm having trouble talking to her by myself. That's right. Oh, in that case, we should ask her to get together. Uh, um... I saw Mew heading to the dining hall. I think she'll still be there. Is that alright? Ah, uh, but we should be careful about about what we tell her. She might be it. She might be it? As in, you might be the mastermind? I doubt it. Yeah. Well, if that, I don't know. It's pretty plausible. The ultimate inventor, the ultimate inventor, and fucking there's a bunch of goddamn robots running around. I mean, come on. Well, if that's what you think. I mean, come on, Kaede, you're not that dense, are you? <laughs> Alright, Suichi, let's get going. Man, Kaede can run pretty fucking fast, that's for sure. <laughs> she runs so fast that I even forget that we have the fast travel option. Like, she just sprint down the fucking hall. Oh, wrong way. I was going the right way the first time. 
It's just that I see these steps over here, and I'm like, nope, that's the wrong way. Go fuck yourself, Kyo. I hate you. Maki, I love you. Keep being beautiful. Oh, hey, Mew. Isn't it not suspicious that you're in here by yourself? You sitting down looking, uh, looking her usual haughty self. She seems, uh, seems like she's alone. Hi, Mew. I love you. Morning, Mew. Well, if it isn't flat-chested Kayeti- Wait, what? Excuse me? <laughs> do you- Do you not have eyes? I mean, my eyes are up here, but... Consensually, you can look downwards. <laughs> what do you mean your pathetic tits want? Okay. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. Um. I have a small favor to ask of you, Mew. Right, Suichi? You're right. Yeah, actually, there's something that we want you to make. We found cameras and security sensors in the warehouse, and, uh... You think you can make cameras that detect movement and take pictures? As in, it would automatically take a picture if the motion sensor detects something. Huh? The hell are you gonna use that for? Uh, um... You need to keep Monokuma under surveillance. You might learn important information. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. Please, Mew? We need your help to get everyone out, get, to get everyone out of here. Okay, I get it now. Bitch. My answer is no. Huh? What? You know. You plebs got a lot of nerve asking me for a favor. <laughs> were you a uh, were you grubs in the past life? Is that why you don't understand basic human courtesy? Fuck all y'all. I forgive you just this once. Now get out of here before I whip out a whip out with bug spray. <laughs> oh, why me? I love you. Without thinking, my body moved on its own. Please, Mew. I really want to get out of here with everyone. And to do that, I need your help. So, please, I'm begging you. Kaede, you have some really pale skin. The sun is reflecting. <laughs> That's all I can think about right now. Kaede. Kaede. Shuichi? I'm begging you too. We could really use your help, Mew. Please? Well, what the hell? Quit bowing to me. All hail the mighty waifu. No, I won't stop. I'm gonna stay like this until you say you'll do it, Mew. I'll do it for however long it takes. But who the hell uses bowing as a threat? Fine. I'll do it. Okay. I'm listening to Mew's voice actor, and I'm like, I heard that voice before, but where? For some reason, I'm thinking of Ruin Factory. What? Really? I grasp Mew's hands. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I owe you. Even after we escape, I'll you forever and never and ever. I, I don't I'm not know. doing this for you guys. My research lab is in the garden. Uh, my research lab in the garden just opened up, so... I was already thinking about checking it out. Um, so, can I have my hand back now? Because it's starting to creep me out. Uh, oh, sorry. I was just happy. Hmm. But, are your hands always this clammy? <laughs> I mean, she wears gloves. You can't put a past her. I'm gonna assume that they're leather gloves. What did I do? Anyways, bring me the security sensors and camera before I change my mind. I'll be waiting in my research lab in the garden. I love you, Mew. Mew wobbled out of the dining hall as if she had been thrown off balance. Thank God. I'm glad we managed to convince her. Then... Let's go to the warehouse to get the cameras and sensor right away. Just across the hall, yeah? Alright. This place is huge. I hope we can find all the things we're looking for. That's 
Uh, don't worry. I know where the cameras and sensors are. I'll go get them. You wait here. Yeah. Oh, you sure? After he said that, so would you walk to the, to the back of the warehouse? I feel like these poles are gonna kill somebody. They look so out of place and dangerous. There's a high jump bar. Cool, I guess. Doesn't matter though, because we're getting out of this place. All right, guess I'll look around. Uh, I can look at all this. The map, the hurdle, RC helicopter. Okay. The gym mat has been placed here. It's probably for PE classes or something. But we haven't had a single PE class yet. So I'm not sure if we'll ever use these. A remote controlled helicopter. What's this doing in the school warehouse? Oh, there's a helicopter. There's a wooden box. Are these iron balls? They look like they're for shot put. I picked one up to see if it was heavy as it looked, and it was. The athletes who... Why'd I say athletes like that? The athletes who have uh, who have to hurl these things are pretty impressive. Hmm. Kaede, what are you doing? Uh. Oh, Suichi. Done already? Okay. Yeah, I've got the cameras. I think three should be enough. Huh? Disposable cameras? Will these work? Uh, um... It's all they had, but they work. Should be fine. There's also a photo developing solution here, so we don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Well, if you're fine with them... Well. Yeah, three cameras should be okay. Also, here's a security sensor. When these sensors pick up movement, it triggers this receiver and makes a sound. We should get three of we should get three of these as well. I see. As huge as this warehouse is, I didn't expect it to have security sensors in stock. Uh. Oh, you want me to carry the cameras? I can put them in my backpack. I only have my music sheets and spare vests, so there's still lots of room inside. Then, all right, let's go talk to Mew. As I took the three disposable cameras from Suichi, I suddenly stopped. Do these cameras really work? Even if we take pictures of the mastermind and, pers and persuade everyone. What will we do after that? The mastermind could just smirk and order the XSLs to attack everyone. Can we really protect everyone with this plan? Will we really be able to escape this place? Hmm. Kaede, something wrong? We need to go before Mew changes her mind. Suiji was already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Uh. Oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding into my backpack and ran after him. Then... Alright, let's go to Mew's lab. I saw it in the courtyard. I see. Oh, you mean the large building in the garden at the bottom of the stairs? Hmm. Hmm. Up until now, our research labs have been normal classrooms. Wow. Well, that seems alright, doesn't it? Alright. Can we fast travel there? Should be able to. Can't fast travel there. Oh, we can't fast travel at all. We gotta... Okay. Gotta run there. This way? Damn, her her research lab is like all the fuck the way out here, huh? She has her nice own little area. That sucks. Kaede just gets a room and she gets this whole entire factory. She's practically safe in here. Famous last words. <laughs> She's practically safe in here and then she dies. Said played a bit of this a while ago. How far did I get? Uh... I got to the end of the first case, sadly. So, <laughs> trust me, I know, but I'm not gonna say it. And then there were two other things that I got spoiled on because one person I know is an asshole and then 
uh, the other one was Complete Freak Accident, where when it, when it shows up, I'll talk about them, but for right now, I'm not going to say what they are. But it's nothing that would ruin the experience, though. It's just that the first trial is kind of ruined. I know the ending of it, I just don't know... Um, I just don't remember how I got there. <laughs> so I don't remember all the answers, but I remember the ending of it. But after that, after the first trial, it's all fucking... It is all fucking new territory. Right after I knock, the door violently swung open. You're fucking late. How dare you waste precious seconds of my time. Oh, look. Looks like she's back to normal. Well, <laughs> I love that voice clip so much. She's like, fuck all of y'all. Well, don't keep my golden brain waiting. Give me what you got. Okay, it's just these, but I took out the three cameras from my backpack and handed them to Mew. What was that? Disposable cameras? Mm. Are disposable cameras too difficult to modify for you? Huh? huh? Did you ask a bird watchers if they know how to gawk at dumbass birds? Of course I can do it. Piece of cake. Then... Huh. Here's the security sensors. Oh, I see. So you want me to use these sensors to make the cameras take pictures automatically, right? I was thinking the camera should be triggered by the security sensor. As in, if the sensor detects movement, the receiver goes off and the shutters activate. That's how I would like for it to work, if possible. After I heard that, I whispered to Soichi's ear. I was gonna say that Kaede had a weird way- Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, what really sucks is that... I don't think I can... I'm not sure if I still have the recording and if I do have the recording of my... Because I recorded my first time playing this game. And then I stopped because I went, no. In my mind, I went, no, now's not the time. I don't think I'm ready to, like, sit down and record this game. And that was when the game was coming out. Um, so... So fucking... I'm trying to get my... I'm trying to remember what the hell I was going to say. Oh yeah, and then like after that, my old computer that I recorded it on, it um, the motherboard got fried, and I still have the terabyte that I had in it, right? And if I do have the recording, it's on that terabyte, but the problem is, for some reason, that terabyte is corrupted. So, if possible, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check some things out with that. Right? Because I do have a recording of my first time playing the case. And trust me, it was... After I recorded that, I felt bad because I said, Oh no. <laughs> I don't think I should release this. After I heard that, I whispered into Suichi's ear. Um, what are you going to use that for? That's... I'm going to set it up on the moving bookcase. That's why we keep... Oh, that's why? That way we can keep watch from anywhere, as long as we have the receivers with us. If someone moves the bookcase, the receiver will let us know, right? And the camera connected to the sensor will take a picture of whoever moved the bookcase. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You hey, what are you two whispering about? <laughs> what the hell did you say to me? She said, you motherfucker. <laughs> no. Nothing. Is that all right? I wrote down the details here. Two cameras with built-in security sensors that will take photos automatically. And the third camera that will trigger the sensor receiver as it automatically takes a photo? Sure. How soon do you need these? Uh, um... Could you make them by tomorrow morning? Shut up! Of course I can. You can tie me up and drip hot wax on me and I'll still finish in time. That's freaky. You're freaky. I like you. With that bold de declaration, you slammed the door in our faces. Did she just reveal some of her kinks to us? <laughs> then... Anyways, I think this will do. We just have to wait for Mew to finish. Um... Kaede, what's wrong? No. Nothing. I was just thinking about how amazing you are for coming up with this plan, Suiji. Huh? What? You know? Honestly, when I first met you, I didn't think you would be this reliable. <laughs> but look at me now, relying on you like you're Sherlock Holmes or something. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mew, the queen of kinks. That's why we love her. She's my favorite.
I, it's hard for me to say she's my favorite because I like Maki too. <laughs> and I don't know why I like Maki. I just like Maki. We went our separate ways and returned to our rooms. So do we have free time? Time, uh, The time limit expires at nighttime tomorrow. Today's my last chance to roam around. I need to make sure I don't forget to do anything important. Free time. All right, so we hung out with Maki. I'm tempted to hang out with her again, but I'm not gonna do that. I can't just force my way through, right? So, who is our lucky, who is our lucky star of the evening? I guess we can hang out with Suichi, right? I wanna hang out with at least one guy and one girl at a time, you know what I mean? Uh, Definitely not gonna hang out with Kyo, not right now. Kyo's a jackass, I don't like him. <laughs> we can hang out with Suichi probably, and then maybe Tenko? I don't know, what are you guys thinking? Tsumuki? Hang out with Angie. Pray to God that we don't get our fucking blood taken from us. Where the hell are these characters, anyways? Um. Okay, those five are over there. Doo -doo -doo. Suichi's downstairs. Kurumi. Why not hang out with Kurumi or Sumugi? Okay, I guess we can hang out with Samugi, right? Actually, you know what? Let's let me check the report cards first before I fuck it up. Where's the report card? This report card? That's report card. Alright. She likes Ava Forms. <laughs> she said, hey guys. Hey guys, you ever watch this cool anime called Evangelion? It's crazy. And where's Kurumi? She likes cleaning. I have I have stuff for cleaning. I have a present for cleaning. You can hang out with Kurumi. Where the hell was she? She was in the dining hall? I think? Maybe? I wasn't paying attention. She is... She is in the dining hall. Okay. Hi, Karumi. That is correct. You remind me a little bit of Susie from Little Witch Academia. Kind of got like a little creepy vibe going like she has, you know? The kitchen is stocked with ingredients so I can prepare satisfying meals for everyone. Oh, thank you. Did I spend time with Karumi? I can help you cook. I'm a good chef. Yeah. Are the ingredients provided by Monokuma? Even the perishables, too? Ava Forms is used in making things like wigs and... Oh. Okay. Because it's light. Oh! I... Dumb me. I read it as forums. <laughs> like an idiot. I added an R in there. My brain autocorrects sometimes. It does a shitty job of autocorrecting too. I hate it. It's foam. That's what you mean. Okay. Yes, for cosplaying. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I know what you mean. People make armor out of it and shit. I spend some time chatting about cooking with Kurumi. Use for large stuff. Oh, really? That sounds fun. See me? Before I can even... Like, I can only dream of getting into cosplay shit, because A, I mean, I have the patience to work on things, but... I don't think I have the technical know-how on how to do all that stuff, right? And then on top of that, I just want to work out before I you know, you can get into shape before you even try to cosplay. You gotta look nice. Through me, I grew a little closer today. Also, I'm a, pretty, I'm a pretty quiet person, so if I ever dress up, it will only just be to please myself. <laughs> would you like to get Krumi a present? Yes, I would. I love you. I have cleaning stuff. Where is the cleaning stuff? Cleaning sheets. Here you go. 
If you don't like this, I'm going to be astonished. Skill comes with practice. Yes, it does. I will do my best. Will there be duties where I must use this? Then I will accept it by all means. I will grant your wishes. Am I mistaken? In that case, I'll use this to aid you. Shall we begin then? How can I help you? Kaede, is there anything you wish for me to do? Can you be my mom? I love you. Huh? Huh? Not at the moment. Dad. Then why are you speaking to me? Because you're cool. Um. Why? Oh, that's right. Kurumi's a maid. But she probably thinks I want her to do something for me. Sorry. Sorry, Kurumi, for giving you the wrong idea. I just wanted to have a chat with you. You know, without any of that ultimate maid stuff. Mm -hmm. Have a chat with me? Of course, I do not mind such a request. Not a request, but more like... Well, I don't want to make this more complicated. That is correct. First few things... Let's see. First things will look like they were thrown together by a toddler. <laughs> Which is why mistakes teach you. Yes, they will. It's like drawing, really. I suck at drawing. I suck at drawing, but I was told... <sighs> don't... I don't mean to toot my own horn. Right? Humble. Hashtag humblebrag, right? I suck at drawing. At least I think I suck at drawing. But I was told by a lot of my artist friends that I'm pretty good at giving advice for it. That I have a nice eye for it, at least. So, most of the time, I would get a lot of people asking me about, like, art stuff. And then, I, I both feel, I feel honored by it. But at the same time, I feel bad because I'm like, but I can't draw though. Hmm. But I can give advice. I'm pretty good at that. At least I think I am. At least now I think I am. I used to not think about it. To be quite frank, I wish to speak with you as well, Kaede. Hmm. Really? That's unexpected. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have much in common. Oh, but I'm happy to talk anyways. Ask me anything. Thank you. Thank you. I prepared some questions I would like for you to answer. Kurumi took out a notebook. May I? These questions all concern food. Ooh, one of my favorite topics. Do you have any food allergies I should be aware of? Nope. No. Nope, I don't have any. What do you think? Are there specific foods that you detest? Fermented natto beans. Is it pronounced natto or natto? Hmm. Those are pretty bad. And slimy. And Twizzlers. I don't like Twizzlers. They're just bland. They don't taste like anything to me. I'm trying to think of any foods that I absolutely despise. For me, personally. Uh, it's hard to think of one, really. I can't think of any foods that I really like or really hate. I see. I see. Most impressive. And I shall move on to my next question. The eye for art are the, are the muscles that create it are different. Okay. Similar messages asking about colors and design or things that I have no idea how to make. Very nice to feel to have people who are good at making. Okay. That's nice. That's why whenever I, uh, that's why I always make it a thing that whenever I work with people with commissions and stuff, that I always let them know that, that, uh, that no matter what it is, like even after I say, here's the ballpark of what I'm looking for or requesting or whatever, that if they have any fucking, any other like things they want to add or change, whether it's like color or hell, even like character designs or clothing or whatever, that they just tell me, right? Because other inputs are nice and I like it. And with that philosophy, I've gotten some pretty nice pieces of art. Like the, uh, like the Pokemon art that I show up on the, uh, on the stream starting screen. The Pokemon art, fucking, the guy that I worked with for that one, uh, Miguel, who is in the, he's in the, um, what, what is it, what are they called for Twitch? You know, the page with all the panels and stuff? He's in the, he's in the people that I work with. I put his, uh, stuff down there for people who want to do commissions for them. But the guy who made the Pokemon thing... Like, all the poses and stuff, like, I gave him the idea of, like, oh, just, just the, my character and the Pokemon, like, around the curry and stuff, around, like, the snow, and then he made it to where, like, my character's, like, freezing because fucking Frostmoth is over my character, snowing on top of me, 
and I'm just shivering and fucking and uh the octopus Pokemon that I can't remember the name of right now he's got his tentacles all up in the fucking curry and shit right so I was like working with people like that I never want to be that guy who's all like no it's my it's my art and I want you to make it like this because then that kind of sucks right that sucks it restrains it and then uh you might end up with something worse I see most impressive then I shall move on to my next question do you have a preference for certain bedding materials? Um, bedding materials? I don't know, man. Yes. For example, do you prefer down... Wait, what? Do you prefer down buckwheat memory foam or cotton pillows? Hmm. hmm. The pillow I have right now is good enough. Why is she asking this? Is this some kind of interrogation? What are you planning? Are you doing research? Pillows are important. Sometimes I sleep without a pillow, because sometimes the pillow just gets in the way. I'll just go like, fuck it, I'll just lay my head down on the bed. Hey. Are you doing research? My apologies. Oh, my apologies. Are my questions causing you discomfort? No. No, I did say you can ask me anything, but... That is correct. Huh. I should be, forefor I should be forthright with my intentions. May I? Your comfort matter... Wait, what? Your comfort matters very much to me, Kaede, hence my questions. With the information you have provided... I can provide you with the greater service. Huh? What? You do all that for me? Yes. Not just for you, but for everyone else here as well. Once we're finished here, I intend to present these questions to others. Oh, that's what she wanted to talk to me. I am a maid after all. If you cannot if you're not content for any reason, please call for me and I will fulfill any request. Yes. Okay, thanks. Remy sure wants to take care of people. And then we became friends. Where the best is a friend. After parting ways with Kurumi, I return to my room. <laughs> the ultimate maid takes her talent seriously. She does. And that's why we love her. Nighttime won't start for a while, so I guess I'll see what everyone else is doing. Wow, man, dogs are barking in my house. Nothing but distractions tonight. This is why I stream late at night, so I don't have distractions, but still somehow the planets align to fuck me over. Alright, Kurumi's researching all of us, wait, all of us to try and make our stay here more comfortable. I think she must have been the mothering type before she was an ultimate maid. Uh, okay. Perhaps too seriously. Although with that, you're off the bed. Needs getting, <laughs> getting to me. No longer is it. Had a long day. Heat's getting to me. I have to turn off my air conditioner when I stream so that it's not in the microphone making a bunch of noise. So, trust me, I'm currently sweating. <laughs> my glasses are like fogging up half the time. It sucks. But thank you for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. It means a lot to me. But get your rest. It's important. Especially for someone like me who works overnight. <laughs> and it sucks. It doesn't suck. I like it, but, you know. You gotta get your sleep, and it sucks when people keep waking you up. Alright. Gotta go hang out with someone else. It's like 30 degrees Celsius. Too 30. Too hot. Heat waves are terrible. Oh, God. Fucking, I think last year we had, like, a record heat wave over here. Like, for a couple of weeks, it was the worst. Alright, so, let's hang out with... Hmm. Well, I mean, we're gonna see more Suichi later, so... I guess we can hang out with Kaido, right? I think that makes sense. There's a Matakuma back there! Come here, you little bastard. Tain to head in Monokuma. Alright, smack shit in here. Keep the chairs. Okay. Is that it? Is that all I can hit in here? There's a broken, like, Dance Dance Revolution thing over here, wherever the fuck. 
All right, Kaido. There's only one day until the time limit. Don't worry, about it. Don't worry. I'm not panicking. I'm an astronaut, after all. Should we spend time with Kaito? Yes, we should. Oh, oh you want to learn how I... S <laughs> you want to learn how to have peace of mind like me? All right, I'll show you. I spent some time learning how to have some peace of mind from Kaido. But he told me stories that made me question his definition of peace of mind. Kaido and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kaido a present? Yes, I would. I have two of them, so I guess he can have one. Where the hell is it? My planet thing. Here we go. Oh, nice. This gift is a real bullseye. Your thoughts hit me dead center. All right. Since you gave it to me, I'll teach you all about this thing. Hey, so... Hey, Kaede. Will you teach me how to play piano? <laughs> I love how he's like, I'll teach you about this thing. And he's like, can you tell me how to play piano? <laughs> huh? Huh? What's the matter? What? Why are you surprised? Because... Because I never would have guessed you'd be interested in playing the piano. Uh... Oh, but I'm happy that you're interested. I'll definitely teach you. I see. Really? Thanks. That'll be a big help once I go to space. Huh? Playing the piano is going to help you when you're in space? Of course. Of course. What if I meet an alien? Sorry. Sorry, I don't follow. I mean, do aliens even exist? I'm sure they did. It'd be a world-changing event, right? That's right. Well, we haven't confirmed any yet, but... It's silly to think that humans are alone in this vast universe. Huh. Plus, isn't it more exciting to think... They're out there somewhere? Exciting, huh? Well, I guess. Um, so, if there are aliens, do you want to try and communicate using the piano? Got it. Not just the piano, any music. Even singing would work. Communicating by singing? He's been watching too much anime. Hey! What's with that face? You think it's impossible, don't you? I think it's totally possible to communicate with the music. After all, there's music on the Voyager Golden Record. Why'd I, why'd I say like that? The Voyager Golden Record. Come on, man. Record. Why do I keep saying record? Record. <laughs> Not record. Record. <laughs> what? You never heard of it? Ah. Well, I guess it was a while ago, so it's not that weird you wouldn't know about it. Hey. Were these Voyager Golden Records sold in stores back in the day? I mean... It wasn't sold. It was shot up in space. Huh? Shot up. Yeah. It was put on the spacecraft called the Voyager. It was a message to any aliens that found it. It had greetings and such. Wow. It had greetings in a bunch of languages, images of landscapes, and also music. I see. Oh. I didn't know they did that. I mean... There was another spacecraft called the Pioneer that had a message on a plaque. The Voyager and the Pioneer were sent to the ends of the universe, and they're still going. If aliens do find them, they might try to analyze the records and contact Earth. I see. Contact with aliens, huh? Maybe it'll happen one day. I don't know. With the uh, the way things are going now at times, <laughs> fucking the military's out there going, guys, we might we might be working with aliens. Who knows? We're gonna release some records. Don't don't lose your minds. <laughs> contact with aliens, huh? Maybe it'll happen one day. Got it. Yeah, I'm the not. In the not-too-distant future, in fact, I, Kaido Momoda, Luminary of the Stars, will be the first human to ever come in contact with an alien. Where does he get this confidence from? But communicating with the aliens by music, that might be possible. I know well that music can transcend words and language to unite hearts as one. Oh god, it's starting to sound like a hopeless romantic like Kaido. And then we became friends. After parting ways with Kaido, I return to my room. The time is now. This is an announcement. This is an official announcement from Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. For one of you bastards, this might be your last nighttime ever. Gonna do something violent to start killing 
Wait. Don't do something violent to start a killing game. You can make it one more night. Oh, I get it now. I totally get it. It's crystal clear to me now. I understand everything. See? Look at your face. The way your eyes are angled. The way your face is floating. That's a crazy face. Mono Kid seems really out of it. Is this what happens when you drink too much honey? Good night, you little fucking monsters. Last night time ever, huh? No, it wouldn't be our last night time ever. It's just our last night in this horrible place. Tomorrow night, I'm getting out of this place with everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. We promised we would all be friends once we get out of here. I hear kids these days don't even say thank you anymore. Is this the Godfather? This is the Godfather. <laughs> I blame the parents. They don't prop uh, they haven't properly taught them the true meaning of thank you. It's very important to express gratitude to someone who has done something for you. It will make that person feel happy, and they might do something special for you later. In other words, thank you isn't just about conveying gratitude. It also conveys the expectation of a favor in the future. So the more you say thank you, the more you can use the people around you. So only say thank you to people and make them do lots of stuff on your for your benefit. I love how the cat he was holding was just sitting there with terror in its eyes and it's like, help me! This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Wake up, bastards, it's eight. Racing. Today's the day the time limit expires. My heart is pounding with excitement. Don't worry. Don't worry. Even if you end up in hell, at least you can be proud that you didn't do the killing game. The hell you saying? You're just assuming they're going to hell. <laughs> this is... Wait, what? This is in... And your 16 are the... Ooh, wait, what? You okay? <laughs> you okay, Mono Kid? Uh -oh. Hey, Mono Kid. Why don't you go over there and drink some more honey, okay? Interesting. Time limit was set to expire tonight, but weirdly enough, I was looking forward to it. Even then, I barely slept the whole night. I slapped my cheeks and leapt out of bed. All right. All right. First, I need to go to Suichi's room. We're gonna catch the mastermind together. Suichi, time is now. Get the hell out of your bed. Huh? Huh? No response. I wonder if something's the matter. Oh. Okay, hey, good morning. Jeez. Jeez, finally you came out. You had me nervous for a second. Sorry. Sorry, I was just going to the bathroom. Are you ready then? You have to get the cameras from Mew, remember? Okay. Yeah, right. So I'm assuming that Mew didn't... She didn't go to her room that night, did she? Yaha! Hey, you guys. What the hell do you want, Angie? Have you decided how you want to spend your final moments? Away from you. <laughs> Maybe you want to pray to Atu with me. I think I'll be fine. Oh, what? You shouldn't be giving up so easily. Yeah. True, true. But, but... You two get along so well. I was hoping it would rub off on the others in the dining hall. Um, what are you talking about? Atua has, Atua has spoken. In such dire times, why won't they stop fighting? Huh? Fighting? Oh. They're fighting in the dining hall. He was really bummed out about it. Fighting in the dining hall? Suichi. Suichi, can you get the stuff from you? I have to see what's been happening. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll go get the cameras. Let me uh, let's meet up later at the bed bedroom. <laughs> I was about to say at the bedroom. <laughs> let's meet up later at the bedroom. <laughs> what is this I see? <laughs> uh, hi Wolfie Ballot, how's it going? Hope you've been having a lovely day today. Yeah. The classroom by the stairs to the basement. Okay, got it. Um Angie, 
You said the dining hall, right? Do you mind coming with me? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. We'll start them together. Who's fighting who, though? And why? Why am I taking the long way to the dining hall? I should take, I should go the short way. You know what? Let's go the short way. Let's not do that. Need to go to the dining hall right now. Okay, well, it would have been faster if I just talked the other way, but okay. I don't think I can teleport during these times. For some reason. I guess because events need to play out or something? The <laughs> long way it is, then. Alright, who the hell's fighting? And why? Hey. The hell's going on in here? Oh. Okay, oh, perfect timing. I really don't know what to do, Kaede. We almost started talking crazy. Hm. All I was doing was making a suggestion. So that more people can survive, even if it's just one more. Ryoma? What are you doing? Um. So that more people can survive. Ryoma, what do you mean by that? Don't you get it? Don't you get it? If time runs out like this, we'll all get annihilated, you know. The only one to avoid that is the the only way to avoid that is to play along with the killing game. Huh? What? Now hold on a minute. Kill me. Kill me. That's interesting. <laughs> huh? Ryoma, what are you saying? Sheesh. You don't get the you don't get that either. I'm saying that I'll give you my, give you guys my life. I... I don't have a reason to live anymore. Well. So if the rest of you want to live, I'll hand my life over to you. That's wrong. No way. We promise we all get out of here together. I hope it ends that way. That's that's why I waited so long to bring it up. But we've just been waiting for the deadline without doing anything to change it. In other words, there's no more time left for idealism, don't you think? Uh... No, it's not idealism. However, this is the best choice for the situation. Whoever murders me gets to leave without a trial. Everyone else survives the time limit. After that, the person who gets to escape can go help and rescue everyone else. What chapter is this? This is the first chapter. <clears throat> so the tri the first trial has not happened yet. Well, how about it? If you got a better idea, I'd love to hear it. I did have a better idea earlier. I said, "Hey guys, if we have to kill if we have to kill anyone, it sucks, but we just got to kill Kibo." He's a robot. He'll get over it. He has an off switch. Fucking set him the rest mode. He won't know what'll happen. <laughs> well, you're not gonna spoil? Uh, this is my... F How do I explain this? Technically speaking, it is my first playthrough of the game, but earlier uh, in the last stream, uh, before I started, I explained that that when the game came out, I did play past the... Not past... I played till the end of the first trial, so unfortunately, I do know what happens at the end of the first trial, but after that, after that point, it's all new. <laughs> and I really, I re I'm really sad that I did that, you know? That makes me feel bad. <laughs> and the only reason that, only reason I really did that was because I recorded it when the game came out, and then I felt like, I felt like... I wasn't ready to record the game after I did the trial. I felt like it was a bad recording. So, maybe one of these days I'll... If anyone's interested, I'll probably just release it on YouTube or something, but... I believe I still have the recording of me doing the first trial for the first time. I believe so, if I can find it. Because it was years ago. Um... Um, well... What should I do? Maybe if I share Suichi's plan with him, Ryoma will change his mind. Actually, Ryoma, there's no need for that. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I'm going to end this game. There's no need for that because I'm gonna end this game. I've made my decision. I've already decided. Huh? You're gonna end this game. Hey. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. However. Can you even accomplish such a feat? Oh yeah. I wouldn't be. You know, Excuse me. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think I could. Yeah. And how would you end it? You understand that the time limit expires tonight, right? <laughs> Sorry, can't tell you. Actually, if I could, I wouldn't be having so much trouble. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm going to end this. Just what I said. 
I'm gonna end this game. So don't any of you go and do anything unnecessary, alright? What? Unnecessary. You've still got a ways to go. When you put it like that, it seems like I still have a ways to go. Got it. Alright, I got it. I take back my suggestion. Do what you want. Whether you guys live or die is up to you. After Ryoma said that, he left the dining hall. That's a shame. Jeez, that Ryoma. I hope I help him calm down a bit. Um. Anyways, Rentaro, were you serious when you said you knew a way to end this game? Yeah. Not sure. Huh? What? How should I put this? Well, even if I did have an idea, I couldn't tell you. Can't risk anyone interfering. Okie dokie. Then Angie will pray for your strategy success, Rentaro. Angie, you're crazy. Punished. But if you're lying, Matua says he'll punish you for three generations to come, okay? <laughs> now that's a threat. Well, I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Actually, I guess I have to do my best. Do I know how Rontaro... Eh. I'm having a hard time reading tonight. Please bear with me. <laughs> you know how Rontaro a real killer is? Hmm. Do I know who his real killer is? Yes. Also, I've been trying my best not to say that he dies, but he dies. <laughs> um, yeah, Ryan Taro's gonna be the first one to die. I know who his killer is, right? Not gonna say who it is. Just, you know, just for the people who haven't played the game, right? Because at some point, people will watch the VODs, and then I'll upload this on YouTube, so if anyone's interested in watching that, don't want to spoil it for them. But everything else... Everything else, like before Danganronpa V3, that's all f spoiler territory. You can talk about that as much as you want. So, like Danganronpa 1, Danganronpa 2, the anime, the mangas, Danganronpa If, Danganronpa Zero, all that other stuff. You can spoil those if you want. That's okay. We're playing V3, and this is spoiler territory for those things. But, um, yeah, I remember the first time I record this. Oh, man, it was such a good trial. It was such a good trial. I gotta find that recording. Because I managed to figure it out before... Oh, the real killer? No. No, I do not. I do not know that. Actually, I think I might know that. Because besides... I explained it earlier too, but besides the first chapter, there were two things I was spoiled on about, not because I was looking for them, but because one person's an asshole and the other one I got spoiled on by accident. Like, complete freak accident. And when those appear, I will talk about them, but as for the real killer, I don't know. I don't think I know, at least. But... Ending this game, is that even possible? I suspect he only said that to defuse the situation to stop Ryoma. I mean, ending this game. <laughs> you don't know that. Maybe Rentaro's hidden talent is actually a huge explosion. In the end, only Atua knows. Rentaro's hidden talent. I want to know what it is, but we don't have much time left. Can't worry about that now. I don't know what Rentaro's talent is, but I have a hunch on what it might be. I need to do something. I don't have time to worry about things I don't understand. I just need to do what I can. Or else, I won't be able to protect anyone. I should go and meet up with Suichi. It's the classroom by the stairs at the, next to the basement, right? Yeah, I have a... I don't want to talk about my... I don't want to talk about my Rantaro uh, talent theory until after the trial's over. Because I think... It's just... It's just something about the way he acts that I think that I think that he might be doing something unconsciously and he doesn't really know about it. Either he does know about it or something and he's just keeping quiet about it. I don't know. But I'll explain it once the first trial's over. If we manage to finish the first trial tonight. Because... How much time do I have left in the stream for tonight? About about like an hour and twenty minutes. I don't I don't think we'll be able to finish. We'll probably stop in the middle of the trial or something. Maybe during the uh, the intermission. 
No. Sorry I'm late, Suichi. That's all right. I just got here too. How'd you, how'd you do? How'd you do? How'd it go? Didn't you finish the cameras? That's... She must have been working all night. She was even too tired to make fun of me. Anyways, here's the results. Two cameras that will take pictures when the sensors detect movement. Remember. And this one will take uh, this one will take a picture and trigger the receiver. Of course, they turned off right now, so they aren't taking any pictures. Mm. Since they're disposable cameras, we'll have to manually wind up the film, right? No. Yes. You thought of it. She told me that the cameras will wind automatically. I see. So once they set up, once they're set up, they'll take pictures every time the sensor's triggered. Okay. She also modified them so that they'll be completely silent to not attract attention. I see. They're completely silent. This is perfect. Well. It needs to be. These are absolute, absolutely essential to our plan. Uh. And do these cameras have flashes? That's... Yeah, they still have flashes on them, but I switched, I switched them off. This shouldn't be a problem. But... but we need to make sure they don't get turned on by accident and alert the mastermind. That's right. Yeah, I'll be careful. I'm impressed, though. You modified them to our specifications. Then... All right. I'll tell you a little about this classroom before we set up in the library. Huh? Huh? Tell me about this classroom. Is that all right? Yes. I think this is the perfect place to keep watch after we set up the cameras. Um... That's fine. But why, but why this classroom? That's true. Because we can see anyone who goes down to the basement. With the door open a little. Look, you can Look. see the staircase, right? Yeah, you're right. We can keep a lookout for anyone who goes down to the basement. Hey! There's one more reason I chose this specific classroom. One more reason. Uh, Is this vent, right? That's... It's connected to the library in the basement. You'll recognize the small, the smell immediately. Hmm. The smell? Either so she told me that, I lean in closer to the vent. Oh, smells like musty old books. Well. Probably a, it's probably a vent to control the humidity in the library. Remember. Remember the duck we noticed in the basement hallway? It leads here. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> I didn't even I'm be honest, didn't even notice you up. <laughs> uh I try not to pay too much attention to the uh to you know the stream count. Because A, it makes me nervous, and B, I just kind of assume people are watching. <laughs> because even if people don't watch live, there's people who watch the VODs and then the YouTube videos. I feel bad for the people who watch the YouTube videos. They get these, they get the content way later. <laughs> Let's see. So it wasn't... I don't want to, I don't want to talk too much about the trial because there, there are some things I do know about it, right? And I believe they do reveal that at the end of the trial, if I remember correctly. But, I just don't... Even though I know about it, I don't want to talk about it for people who haven't seen it. Right? We can talk about it way after. <laughs> but event in the classroom, that's an odd design choice for a school. Then again, everything about the school is odd. Uh, um... This fin is in a... Yeah. This vent is the other reason I chose this specific classroom to keep watch. This vent is just big enough for someone to be able to fit, so we should watch this carefully too. I don't think I could fit through there. Because <laughs> you're so thick, Kaede. <laughs> Damn! Thicker than a snicker. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be tough though. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the perfect spot to keep a lookout. Then... Anyways, it's time. We should set up the cameras now. It's finally time to set our plan in motion. I'm getting nervous. My heart is racing. Alright, down to the library. Come on, Suichi. Time to set up the world's biggest Scooby-Doo trap. <laughs> actually, when you think about it, it's not that as complex as a Scooby-Doo trap. It's actually more on the tamer side. So, where'd you want to place the cameras? You're right. Let's aim the one linked to the receiver at the moving bookcase. 
If we place the security sensors on the books... Uh, I'm stuttering all over the place. If we place the security sensor on the bookcase itself, then when it opens, the receiver will let us know. Mm -hmm. And if we place the camera to face the moving bookcase... Okay. Yes, the camera should capture the exact moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. Hmm. Then, where are we putting the other two sensors? Remember. Well, there are two entrances, two entrances to the library. The front entrance, near the stairs, and the rear entrance to the hallway. Let's aim one at each entrance. That way, we'll have pictures of everyone who enters the library. Huh? But how about over there? Didn't you say a person could fit through the vent that connects the classroom? Hey. Wait, shouldn't we make sure a person could actually fit through? That's... I think it'll be fine, since we'll be able to watch in the classroom. But we should investigate it a little more, just in case. But we can't reach the high... We can't reach that high. We need something to stand on. There's a ladder! Uh. Oh, I can probably use the ladder. I positioned the ladder below the vent and climbed up. Whoa. Now that I'm up here, this is pretty high. It's kind of scary. Do you want to switch? Nah, I'm fine. By the way, can you see my, um, delicates? 100%. Uh, sorry. He's like, I didn't know that I was looking. So you did see them. Well, whatever. Can't unsee them. Anyway, this is... Wow, that's very... That's a very progressive way of thinking. <laughs> There's a grate covering the vent, so I don't think anyone could go through. Can I take the grate off? Uh, there we go. Oh, the grate came off pretty easily. Did you break something, Kaede? Um, no. I didn't break it. You can't break something that was already broken, Suichi. I saw the look on his face. He probably thinks I'm a klutz. I pushed the grate into the duck. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it would be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. Would you be able to crawl through? I mean, look <laughs> look at the size of that thing and look at her hand. It looks pretty impossible for a body to crawl through that. I can't really get to the vent with all these books in the way, though. Well, we'll be able to see the entrance to the vent in the classroom. So that should be okay, right? Oh, thanks for the follow, Wolfie. I greatly appreciate it. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right, by the way. <laughs> Just in case, I'll stack more books around the vent so no one. If can I ever mispronounce through. names, please let me know. With that, I begin to arrange the books around the vent. After I finish stacking the books, I climb down to the ladder. I climbed down to the ladder. Did I just... Is that what that said? I climbed down the ladder. I'm having such a hard time reading tonight. I don't know why. Are you okay? Last night I was doing a pretty good job, I think. <laughs> Kaede, what's wrong? Yeah. This will work. This will definitely work. Huh? Huh? Got it? I think this plan might actually protect everyone. Yep. It definitely will. This plan is perfectly composed like Chopin's ballads. You know... I actually really like, I actually really like complicated country words, big words. Read them. I can do it. <laughs> Gotta go. That's okay. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it very much. I actually really like complicated contraptions like, okay, these names. Rube Goldberg machines and stuff. I don't even know who the fuck Rube Goldberg is. So I'm positive this will work. The setup is perfect. Do you really think so? Of course. Of course. We'll definitely catch the mastermind, and then we'll all escape. All right. So let's hurry and set up the cameras. Then. Yes. So I think we mm, can't read. So I think it would be a good idea to set up the cameras between books, so that. Uh. Oh, hold on. I had an idea while I was on top of the bookcase. What if we place the camera up there? I'm sure, the mastermind wouldn't notice it. But. But with all the books stacked up top, I don't know if there's any room for the camera. You know? Then I'll test it out while you prepare the sensor on the bookcase. I'll organize the books on top of the bookcase and see if I can make room for the camera. Right? That way, we won't waste any time, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. All right. 
All right, then let's do it. I climbed up the ladder and looked at the top of the bookcase. Hmm. hmm. There are way more books here than I expected. The top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stacks of books. All right. This is nothing. As I moved the ladder, I recognized the books bit by bit. Did I say recognize? Reorganize. Jeez, too many books. Might be too hard to set up a camera up here. I knew it. I thought so. No. Wait, just gotta try a little harder. Hey. Kaede, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really it's alright. I'll show you who doesn't like how to admit defeat. You don't know how to admit defeat. I continue moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. Jeez, books are so heavy. What is this, an encyclopedia? I flipped the book open. Wait! Kaede, is this really the time to be reading a book? Uh. Sorry, you got distracted. <laughs> I get distracted easily when I'm organizing things. After I made that excuse, I rushed to reorganize the heavy books, but... Um... Looks like there are too many books after all. Can't really make space, can you? Aww. It'd be easier if you could move them to the ground, but that would look suspicious. You're right. Yeah, we have to minimize any risk of the mastermind noticing the cameras. Uh. Then I guess it'll be better to put the camera between the books like you suggested. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you look oddly happy. Uh, um. No, I don't. If we put them on top of the bookcase, the angle wouldn't quite reach. And here I thought it'd be a good idea. Is that all right? So how about the places? Or what? So the places? Eh, can't read. So about the places to put the cameras. Hmm. We decided to place the security sensor on top of the moving bookcase, and the camera linked it. The camera linked to it will be set up right here. That way, it will capture the moment the mastermind moves the bookcase. We're gonna place the other two cameras near the exit and the entrance, right? I suppose so. I think here and this bookcase should do. They should have a pass. They can't, cannot read. What is wrong with me tonight? <laughs> they will have to pass here, no matter which door they use. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Then I'll set up the cameras that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Then... Let me take care of the security sensor on top of the bookcase. And we'll set the cameras near each door. Hey. Oh, I almost forgot. I bought duct tape from the warehouse. You can use this. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. With that, we got to work. I'm meticulously place the camera in the in the gaps of the bookshelves. We need to set up the camera carefully so that it's aimed at the moving bookcase. I better use lots of duct tape so the camera won't fall out of position. These cameras are important, so I gotta do it right. Yeah. Alright, that should do it. Okay. I'm finished too. Hmm. Now, no matter which entrance they use, the mastermind will be caught on camera. And if they move the bookcase in front of the hidden door, our sensors will detect that and signal this receiver. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, the camera attached to the sensor will snap the critical picture. Yeah, this should do it. No doubt about it. This plan will probably work. No, not just probably work. It'll definitely work. Then... All right then, the final step, turn on the sensors. All right, we should turn them on before we leave. All right. Then a 10 second delay as it start up. <clears throat> There's a 10 second delay as it starts up. So we have to leave quick. Yeah. Got it, it'd be, waste of, it'd be waste of film if we took our pictures. My fucking throat is on fire right now. <laughs> I've been reading for three hours straight. I take a drink of water, soothe, the vocal cords. Last night was terrible. <laughs> My throat was on fire when I finished streaming last night. Got it. It'll be a waste of film if we took our pictures. All right. 
After setting our trap and powering on the cameras attached to the sensors, we quickly exited the library. Mm -hmm. Now we wait for the mastermind to show themselves. Okay. There's still some time left. Do you want to go see anybody? No. No, I'd rather focus on the plan. Besides, I'm sure everyone else is safe. <laughs> Plus, once we get out of here, I'll have all the time in the world to see them. You're right. That's true. Well, let's go to the classroom. Up the stairs we go! To a world of adventure. And a world of moya and mystery. And dark secrets that will come to light. Upon entering the classroom, a wave of anxiety suddenly overwhelmed me. My heart felt like it would beat out of my chest at any moment. Then, Let's keep the door open a little, so we can see anyone going into the basement. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, Kaede? About the security sensor device? Hey. Could you hold on to it please? I feel like you're better suited for it than me. There's a power switch on it. Make sure you don't turn it off by accident. No. No, you hold on to it, Suichi. You're the one who came up with the plan, and I trust you. Um. Also, Suichi. You just said, I'm better than you at something. Why do you say things like that anyway? Huh? What? You know? I guess it's good that we have some time left, because I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, um. Talk to me. You know? It's probably none of my business, but I think you should be more confident. Right? Especially since the ultimate... <clears throat> Especially since the ultimate initiative selected you as the ultimate detective. No. No, really. I shouldn't be the ultimate detective. I'm not even a real detective. Huh? What do you mean? I'm... I didn't even really want to be a detective. My uncle runs a detective business and would sometimes help out as an apprentice. It was usually just cheating couples, background checks. But, but one day, I came across a murder case. Completely by chance. Uh, um... I've solved it before the police did. They called me the boy detective. That's when I got scouted by the ultimate initiative. Though I only solved one case. Huh? Even so, it's still amazing that you solved a murder case. Most people can't do that. No. I wonder. I wonder if... It was a good thing that I saw that case. The look on his face when we caught him. I can still see it even now. He stared at me. Like he hated me more than anything else in the world. Later I heard that he murdered the victim to get revenge for his family. The victim was abusive. They drove the culprit's relative to suicide. People told me the culprit was right to do what he did. The victim deserved it, but I led the police right to him. Of course he hated me. Damn, isn't that a slippery slope? That's not true. It's not like you took sides. You uncovered the truth. That's what detectives do, right? You're right. Yeah, I uncovered the truth. Which makes it my fault. I'm still suffering the consequences. I'm... Ever since that one stupid case, I've been so afraid of uncovering the truth. I never forgot those eyes. The hatred. The way they stared into me. Uh, um... Anyways, that's why I have trouble looking people in the eye sometimes. So that's why he wears the hat. I'm... I'm not a real detective, Kaede. What kind of stupid detective's afraid of finding the truth? Right then. I noticed Suichi's hands were trembling. I gently reached out and held his hand. Kaede? I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But... I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I 
feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Okay, I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll try. Yep, that's a promise. After letting go of his hands, I quickly changed the subject. Yeah, that's right. Also, I think you should... I think you look way cooler if you didn't wear that hat. I'm not sure about that. I like the hat. I think the hat's pretty cool. Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? What? I'm serious here. Once we're out of here, I want you to show me what you look like without the hat, okay? Aww. Jeez. I want to see everyone smile. You know... I love seeing the expressions people make when they're enjoying themselves. That's why I play piano. To see the smiles on everyone's faces. Mm -hmm. And that's why we need to expose the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. Right? So we can smile with everyone else. After our serious talk, we talked about this and that to kill some time. We did all we could to prepare for whatever happened next. I was nervous, of course. But all we can do is wait for the moment to arrive. As the time limit drew closer and closer, and then suddenly, the moment arrived. Huh? What is that weird music? It's coming from the monitor. Could it be... Maybe it's a warning that we need to start killing. The time limit's almost up. Oh, they need to stop screwing with us. How much suffering do they want from us? Oh. Wait, Kaede. I hear people talking in the hallway. Huh? People talking? I focus my attention on the hallway. I could hear a group of boys and girls talking. I try my best to listen while I peer through the gap in the classroom door. I saw seven boys and girls head downstairs. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro, too? The seven continued to walk down the stairs. Why? What's a big group like that planning to do? Rantaro's with them, too. Didn't you say he would in this game? Hmm. It's almost nighttime, right? They're all heading to the basement right now. Could the mastermind be with them too? Kaito, Gonta, Miki, Tenko, Angie, Himiko, and Rantaro. One of them is the mastermind? No. Is it unusual for such a big group to all go to the basement? N no. They're not planning on going to the library, are they? That would be bad. They're scared of the mastermind from using the bookcase. Wait, what? <clears throat> They'll scare the mastermind all from using the bookcase. And ruin the plan. Huh? What? All right. I'm gonna go check out the basement. Uh, I'll come with you. No. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. With that, Suichi dashed out the classroom. Um. Why am I here all alone now? Realizing I was alone, all the fear and anxiety I was trying to hide rushed back into me. jeez. Oh, I couldn't keep still, so I grabbed the broom from the corner of the classroom started cleaning for no reason at all. I had to move my body. The anxiety was getting to me. Suichi, please come back already. I continued to distract myself with cleaning until Suichi finally came back. Hmm. Kaede, why are you sweeping? Huh? Oh, no reason. Anyways, what about the people down in the basement? Uh, okay. Everything's okay. They all went to the game room. The game room? Why there? Ding dong dong ding! Hmm. There's only one hour until the time limit. Uh, yeah, it's almost time. That's true. I'm sure that the mastermind will make their move soon. If Monokuma is going to show up when time runs out, the mastermind will go to the library. 
and it happened so suddenly. My heart nearly leapt out of my chest as the receiver in Suichi's hand suddenly went off. Suichi, the receiver! So I moved the bookcase. Kaede, hurry! Suichi sprinted out the classroom with the term determination of a true ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Suichi. I could feel my heart beating faster and faster. I was so nervous, my head felt like it was pounding with every with every heartbeat. All right. Kaede, let's go inside. Yeah. Racing myself to confront the mastermind, I had <clears throat> I had balled my hands into fists without realizing it. It'll be fine. Everything will work out. I was still convincing myself when I caught up with Suichi, who had his hands on the door. What are you guys doing here? Got it. <laughs> well, never mind. Your timing's perfect. You should join our strategy meeting. Right. Okay, he's definitely welcome to join. Huh? Strategy meeting. Yeah. When the time limit hits, we're gonna fight Monokuma. We, we got a plan for that battle. We thought it'd be harder for Monokuma to get to the basement, so we're gonna do the game. Hey. Hold on. Both of you, come with us. The mastermind's in the library. Uh, hmm? Mastermind? Okay. We'll explain later, but right now, we need you to come with us. We might really be able to end this killing game. Are you serious? You serious? Sneak attack. I don't really understand. We just need you just need me to Aikido throw everyone inside, right? Alright. No, I'll do it. I'll be the one to take them down. Uh, this isn't a competition. I'm gonna open the door right away. With the un God, I am losing my cool. <laughs> With the unveiling of the mastermind so close at hand, all my anxiety had disappeared. I stepped inside the library. As I walked in, I noticed the moving bookcase at the end of the room was slowly closing. But there was no sign of the mastermind. The moving bookcase had closed on its own without any outside help. Hmm. Where's the mastermind? We quickly walked towards the moving bookcase. And then, not too far from the moving bookcase, we saw... And so it begins. Rentaro Amatomy had yet to reveal his ultimate talent to the rest of us. Lay dead on the ground. My class trial. Our class trial. Deadly life. Oh, Rantaro? What in the world? What the hell is going on? Uh. Right after Tenko screamed, the front door of the library bust open, and the four people who were in the game room rushed in. What happened? What happened? Goto here scream. Huh? Ah! Blood. So much blood. Oh, me, oh my. Isn't that Rantaro? What's wrong with them? You don't know. He's dead. Huh? What? He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. But how? How to be so calm? Suichi examined Rotaro's body and placed his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. It's no use. We're too late. He shook his head. No way. Too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? He's dead? My vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. Why was Rontaro here? And... The monitor's off. It was no longer displaying Monokuma anymore. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? Yeah, that has to be it. This means Rantaro was... Well... 
This means the killing game has started, huh? Huh? What? what? Killing game? Did someone kill Rantaro and... Uh, Wait, maybe not. I don't get it. What do you mean, maybe not? Um, maybe the killer game... Maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe it just ended. What? Ended? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind. Rantaro was the mastermind. Huh? Wait, the mastermind? Uh, um... I don't... I don't know how he died, but if Rantaro was in the library before the time limit ended... That's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this. And if he's dead... Huh? What? A body has been discovered! Everyone, please gather in the library! Oh, what a relief! Murder took place just before time ran out. Huh? Monokuma? But how? I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there because the killing game hadn't started yet. Jeez, you guys really know how to keep me in suspense. How? The mastermind's controlling you. By mastermind, do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling me? And you think it was Rantaro? <laughs> what an imagination. Of course that's wrong. If the mastermind had died, this killing game would be over. That's wrong. But the victim was Rantaro Amanami. The ultimate who cares. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Suichi, what does he mean? What's going on here? No. He, Monokuma's wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rantaro the mastermind? Huh? Yeah. He came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? No one else was in the library. Rantaro was the only one. Yeah. I'm yawning. Rantaro was the only one who could have moved the bookcase. Wouldn't that mean he was trying to use the hidden door? And that would mean he's the mastermind. No. But if he was the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Uh, um... Why is he dead? It's no use. It's no good. I don't know. Uh... Suichi? Oh. The pictures. We can check the pictures. I'm sure that the cameras we set up in the library will give us a clue. At that moment, the library door swung open. Oh no! Rantaro? But why? Really? N that's Rantaro? Oh, thank God! I thought it was a pile of dirty racks. I see. I see. So this ended up happening after all. My, my. What a world this is. So full of jokes like this. How? What? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rantaro's dead. Oh, I mean... <laughs> what's killed? Stop it. That's the same thing. <laughs> How ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead. The guy who wanted to die survived. Either way. So, can someone explain the meaning of all this? Huh? An explanation isn't necessary. I'm Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial, so it'll just be a waste of time. Go ahead. With that said, if you're the black end who killed Rantaro, raise your hand. What? The one who killed Rantaro. Degenerate male! I knew it. The degenerate male killed Rantaro, didn't he? Wait! How? How oh, you know a boy do it? I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Damn. That dumbass. How dare he go and get himself killed? Don't screw around! Who the hell did it? I'll freaking punch you into orbit. <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off Send off your graduating classmate with warm fell worlds. Rising Cider sign! It's getting interesting! Or send him off with host with hostility like a bunch of Daddy popular girls. That's fine too. It's my time to shine. But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna bust out the exocells. I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna look at a nasty dead body. <laughs> Nothing beats crushing crashing a funeral. It's way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw in a wedding every now and a what? I'll throw in a wedding every now and then. But funerals are insane. Like fishing with dynamite. So So whoever did the whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? Heck yeah. 
I'm a real stickler for the rules. I'm also tough on... I'm also tough on convenience store clerks. Congratulations! With the black and who's about to graduate, raise their hand. What? What the? No one's raising their hand. You bastards! Hey, did you hear me? All the black and has to do to graduate is speak up, you know. No one's stepping forward? What's going on? I see it now. The Blacken has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a class trial. Excuse me? Very well then. I will give the Blacken what they want and hold a class trial. Wow. It's getting interesting. Now this is a spicy twist. Hold on. Wait, the heck's going on? Got it. Like we said before, we're gonna hold a class trial so you bastards can find Rontaro's killer. So. Get it right, and only the black and will be punished. But if you get it wrong, <laughs> stimulate what? Simulate. I cannot say this fucking word. Simulate. Simulatious surgery. Brain and knee, and brain surgery again. I have no idea what the fuck he's going on about. <laughs> My heart's racing. Everyone besides the black and will be punished. Uh, Everyone besides the black and everyone. <sighs> this outcome is much worse. The Krampus should have just stepped forward. Thrills, chills, but before chills. we can hold the class trial, you gotta investigate first. If we don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. It's that part it's that part of the stream where everything starts to sunset for me. <laughs> I start to yawn every five seconds. So you're saying we need to do the investigation ourselves too. Of course. The investigation will make the killing game so good. You guys are gonna investigate this crime and uncover the truth. <laughs> the Blackens handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. Alright. The trial will begin soon. So please, give the investigation your all. So long, farewell! Alright! Let's get... Let's get going, then. Wait! Wait, where do we start? Don't you get it? We're looking for the truth of Rontaro's death, right? If we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I won't be annihilated. The girl should be allowed to live, at least. I'm just a cute, normal girl who can use magic, you know? Why, you? You're the last person who should be calling herself cute. Ben. Don't fret. Just imagine this as... Just imagine this as something out of a police drama or detective manga. Do you agree? Right, Suichi? Uh, okay. Right. Impossible! I'm in trouble. I never watched police dramas or read detective mangas. Let's see. Well, there's no need to think so hard. We need only... Con we need only converse with the corpse. Of course, it's not simply a dead person. That's just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Yes. By coming face to face with the corpse, you'll learn a great many things. Ah! Why are you getting excited? <laughs> excited? Why did I say it like that? Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? Actually. But it's true. Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Don't screw around. It's not the problem here. On your knees. Who's the fucking culprit, huh? If it's you, maybe it's you. Uh. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the killer? Only a two knows. Weird. You can no choose that way. How exciting. <laughs> you can't choose that way. Everyone's, everyone's competing to see who the most paranoid. Yep, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um, For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. Huh? Huh? Hey. If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. No. No. Completely different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But and we can't let him get what he wants. We need to investigate this murder, not because we don't trust each other, because we do.
Hmm. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> you were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um... Oh, I just said what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are a detective. Now that we need to investigate, you become super reliable. All right. I agree with Suichi. Actually, he just said exactly what I was going to say. Uh -huh. Males are degenerate creatures who betray others easily. But I'll trust you this time. The only good thing about males is that girls give birth to them. Allow Gonta. Gonta not smart. Not sure Gonta be much help. But Gonta do his best for everyone. I... I'll work hard with the two as guidance. I'm much happier alive than dead anyways. That's right. As, no as novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. I will do my best. If this is what everyone desires, then I shall give it my all. Okay. You can leave it to me. I'll find the culprit in no time. Phew. I'm glad no one's given up just yet. Yeah, of course they haven't. You can't change what has already begun. All I can do is... All I can do is what must be done. Otherwise, Mentaro died for nothing. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well then. So, let's get started. I guess. We need to do this so poor Antaro won't have any regrets. So we can survive. Okay. Yes. Let's find the culprit who killed Rantaro. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. Thanks, Suichi. So much happened in such short time. I haven't even been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Hmm. hmm. That's quite the mood I wasn't expecting. Oh, it's okay. Bad. At least now you guys seem like you're getting into it. You again? The fuck you doing here? <laughs> Don't be so crude. I just came to bring you all a wonderful present. Uh -huh. This is giving me the heebie-jeebies. A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is written on it. Could it be the death note? Yeah. Oops, my bad. It's a Monokuma file. You did that on purpose, didn't you? The Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there is no info that would point to the blackened, because that would ruin the trials. Let's all get along! I don't know. Maybe you guys can find it useful if you're not experienced investigators, you know? Don't screw around! The Monokuma file? Like hell I'm gonna believe something he made. No. Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine its contents now. Atua has spoken. Who has spoken? He says we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. Yep, I think I should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I wonder what it says. The victim is Rantaro Amanui. I hope I'm saying his name right. <laughs> it doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimate time of death is 9:10 p.m. The victim was subject to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. Alright. Doesn't say whether or not he's a mastermind. Well, that's obvious. But the killing game is still going on, so I'm gonna assume he wasn't, right? But if Rantaro was the mastermind, then who is? Actually. I know it's a little late, but seeing the marks is real. Taro is really dead. That's right. This is the mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. The mastermind killed Rantaro. That's mastermind. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Please. Hey, Day. Please explain what's going on. Spare us no detail. Yeah. Yes, I will. Suichi so and I explain to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the Mastermind hiding amongst us. And about the trap we had set in the library to lure him out. And that, and that someone got snagged in our trap. So we came to the library to check. We discovered Rantaro's body. Understood. I see. So that's what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. Yeah. So you used those cameras I modified for this bullshit? But you know... 
but why would you keep something so important a secret from us? <laughs> Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we started fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But... But, if there's a camera, won't the case be solved real easily? Oh man, that's so boring. Wait! You're assuming it's the least... You're assuming it's the least... Bleh. You're assuming it's the least of our concerns. We need to check the cameras right now. The culprit should be in the pictures. It'd be case closed. Then... Alright, let's go get the cameras. Which would Suichi quickly retrieve the three cameras and rush back to everyone. Is that all right? Okay, I got him. Well, it was hard removing the camera that Kaede set up. She really taped it down well. Because. Well, I really didn't want the camera to fall since it was aided, since it was aided, <laughs> since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Here, here's the three cameras. Uh, um, now we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow me to perform that task. That's amazing! Wow, is there anything the ultimate maid can't do? Leave it to me. I heard everything you said. If that's what you need, just leave it to me. Huh? Huh? I'll do it. I'll develop the photos so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Because <laughs> if you guys get punished, it'll be way too gory. Stop it. Hey, don't put it in our But she ignored my objection, walked up to Suichi, and tucked the cameras from him. Huh? I am a strong, sensual woman. Don't underestimate me. Get back those cameras! No need to worry. We all have to follow the rules. If you want to do anything underhanded or, or devious. So, I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Wait, give the cameras back! It was pointless to yell at her. Monophy left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my! Oh, she's gone. Uh, no, that was important evidence. Sorry. Sorry, I was being careless. Soichi, you had one job. <laughs> you had one job. Hold on to the cameras. You can't even do that. Um. It's probably okay. She says she develop photos, then give photos back. That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think we should destroy the evidence. Sheesh. I don't think she would destroy the evidence. Look like we got no choice but to believe that. Is it's over important us. to believe. Two only shows mercy to those who believe. Uh, um. Kaede, I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. It's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. <sighs> but now we're just in a bigger mess. A mess we have to see through to the end. Hey. Kaede? I have a proposal for you. Is that all right? If it's all right with you, can we keep working together during the trial, like we're doing now? Huh? Suichi. I'm. I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I want to help you. Suichi. Of course. With you on my side, it'd be like having a hundred people helping me. Thank you. Thanks, Kaede. Um. Hey, so I don't care about this mushy stuff. So let's just get started already. We try to take this seriously, okay? Our lives are on the line. Actually, it takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate. That we not investigate by ourselves. Why? Why? In other words, if we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try and destroy evidence, right? Huh? Now you're right. So if the culprit is one of us, <laughs> if each of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My apologies. I don't intend of offering a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. No, nope, that's logical. That's logical. Please, speak your mind, Kurumi. That's right. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be guilty. Yeah, we have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it. All right, woo! This game is a mouthful. <laughs> that is the wrong button. Okay, so we are coming up on the end of the stream. 
And I think now is a perfect stopping point because next stream we should be able to do the investigation and then hopefully finish the trial during that stream. If I remember correctly, trials usually take about maybe two to three hours, depending on how the flow goes of it, you know? At least that's how much time I spend with it in my experience. But, you know, that's going to be it for Danganronpa V3 tonight. It is that time. So, as for the next stream, uh... Please check the schedule at a later date, because right now I'm not sure about how my work schedule is looking. So, hopefully I can get in three days next week to do stream, right? If not, then I'll take any free days that I can get and throw a stream in here and there. But, if I can't do that, well then, unfortunately, there's nothing that can be done about it. But... Hopefully, hopefully we'll be fine. So just, you know, for those interested, just keep an eye out. Also, for those who came live tonight, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. And for those watching the VODs, thanks for checking it out too. It helps out a lot. And for the people on YouTube, as always, please consider watching this live. There is a link to the Twitch in the description. And on the YouTube page and all that other good stuff. And that's going to be it for now. So, as always, I want to say thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.